in need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! from the Swift Quilting Company. I just wanted to wish everybody on Sewing Street, from the behind the scenes crew, to the presenters, to all the viewers, a very happy Christmas and a fabulous new year. Cheers. Hello everyone. Merry Christmas from Jane Greenoff. See you in the new year. Bye. Hello everyone, it's Cara. Just pop by to wish you all a really, really happy Christmas with your family and friends. Wishing you every happiness for 2022 and I look forward to seeing you on Sewing Street. Happy Christmas, bye. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our website, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Good morning, good morning, welcome to Sewing Street. So lovely to be back. I feel like I've not been here for ages and ages and ages. Um, and I must say, we've got a lovely lineup today. Really, really exciting day. We've got loads going on. Uh, as you all know, we've got Neil eagerly awaiting in the wings for the first hour. We've also got gift selections coming up because we're still guaranteeing delivery in time for Christmas. So you don't need to worry. Anybody like me doing last minute shopping still. I was on Jewelry Maker yesterday doing my shopping. There's some really lovely gifts here today as well. So we're still definitely making sure that everybody gets all of their prezzies sorted in time for Christmas. Um, and then Delphine is here at 11 o'clock. And then Cara is here. So we've got so much going on today. Starting though with the early bird special. Now, of course, it being winter and everything that's going on in the world, we've all got to make sure that we're still wearing our face coverings. So we have got for you a really important early bird today. This is pre-cut, ready into a metre, which you are going to be able to get because it's so wide. Have a look at this. You are going to be able to do so many mask linings with this. Because it's bonded, not woven, don't need to worry about which way you're sort of positioning your template. You can just cut it wherever you want. So you'll be able to cut loads and loads of linings out. Um, so you've got them all for every occasion and all for, uh, for, for different days of the week. So it's a whole metre of your official Visaline interlining fabric. And today it's £3.98 for that metre piece. Remember, it's already pre-cut. 
if you are multi-buying, it doesn't come joined up, but it doesn't matter, does it, at, at this point? If you're using it for your linings, it doesn't matter that it's not joined up. Just £3.98. And, and the great thing about this is that it's, um, I have, I have got my iPad, don't you worry. Um, oh, do I need my iron? I need an iron. That's one thing I haven't set up actually for the first hour. Uh, so what I was going to say is it's an official Visaline product. So they've, they've especially developed this for the inside of, um, of your masks. Now, obviously it isn't necessarily medical grade but because it's extra layers in your face mask it's giving you that extra protection really isn't it um just three pounds and 98 pence it can also be washed at 60 degrees so at a high heat which is of course important when you you're washing your your uh, your fabric face coverings Oh, that's a good idea. That's a really good idea. To, uh, as Christmas gifts, Hannah suggested, my producer Hannah saying, sounds a bit weird, but actually, I think this is something that I would use instead of crackers at the table this year. You could do face coverings and really pretty, pretty ones, couldn't you? And also, it's not going to be wasteful because, yeah, you're going to use it. You're not throwing away things, um, uh, you know, that, that you're not going to use um, after New Year. This is something that you're going to then uh, use as gifts. Um, hello, everybody on Facebook. Come say hello to me. I have got the Facebook Live open. We're going to be doing a sew along with Neil this morning. He's going to be teaching me how to make face covering. Now, he's had a few practices at this, so he should be really, really good now. We've um, had Bex Reed teaching him. And then John Scott was here. In fact, you were teaching John, weren't you? And then now is here teaching me three pounds 98 for a whole meter of your visoline lining and remember look it's a big big piece a lot of visoline into lining uh, just three pound 98 especially for the early bird hi celia she said great to see you it's been a while hasn't it i feel like i've not been here for ages do you know what this is really annoying me there's a bit of a gap in this christmas tree what pardon Oh, that's where John's bum goes past the tree so he doesn't knock the ball balls off. I see, I see. Hello, Neil, yeah, by I, the way. How we, are you? I'm good. We've got all Nerf bullets stuck in our tree. Oh, dear. Like, you just, you sat there and I was looking, I sat, watched looking at the tree yesterday and I noticed there's football cards in it because they throw football cards at each other and like, so the tree's just full of all non Christmassy <laughs> decoration. Um, apparently, Hannah was saying she didn't know that she needed to water her tree. She's got a real Christmas tree this year and she said, I didn't know I needed to water it. So she says, every time I touch it, all of the needles just fall off. She says, it's now almost bald and it's not even, it's a week before Christmas. Um, yeah, send us your Christmas tree uh, stories. Let us know. It's that kind of morning today. We want to hear about your Christmas tree. Three pounds 98 for your early bird. Now we've got Neil here today because it is mask making. Um, we'll have a look at the menu first though. So coming up today, as I said, it's a jam-packed day today. We've got face masks. Any questions that you have for our expert sewer, Neil Garrett, get them <laughs> in. Any, um, any questions, he's ready. We're gonna, we're gonna put him on the spot and ask him all of your sewing related questions in this first hour at nine o'clock. Any questions, in fact, we can just do a whole Q and A. It's not very often that we get the chance to have our managing director here on air. So those of you that um, have got any questions for him, get them in. It doesn't need to be sewing related. We just do um, a bit of a life story. Yeah, this yeah, is your life. It's probably better if they are, aren't so related, <laughs> yeah. to be honest. <laughs> Um, we've got a, a nine o'clock sewing room tools. There's some really nice little gifts in there as well, actually, as well as 10 o'clock. So we're going to sort of roll those two hours into tools slash gifting. And then lovely Delphine Brooks is here. Honestly, I'm so excited to see her. It's been ages and ages and she's making, oh, look at this quilt. The fabrics are beautiful look there's lovely ladies in the middle dancing in their beautiful dresses it's such a gorgeous quilt and it's all kitted for you from free spirit we've got the amazing delphine teaching us how to make it so um yeah that's very exciting it's on pre-order if you want to get ahead that's at 11 and then we're off to yarn lane at 12 o'clock with cara ackerman who's going to be doing the beautiful Brie Merring cross stitch kits. If you've not seen them before, oh, they are absolutely gorgeous. And we've actually got some new designs in time for Christmas. They are perfect Christmas gifts as well for people who love stitching. Um, if you've got any questions or any messages for, as I say, Neil, get them in today, either on the email, which is studio at sewingstreet.com. Send in your face coverings as well. What, um, send in the, the Sewing Street masks you've made because we've had some beautiful, beautiful um, panels recently. We've got some new ones today, in fact. 
Oh uh, yeah, we want to see where you've been wearing your face covering. Have you been to any of these lovely light Christmas trails or um, any festive events? Send in your photographs. I met Santa on um, what was it on Thursday? It was oh, it was brilliant. It was such. It was a. Um, a little wedding venue called Weatherly Manor, and it was really lovely, really special. Send in your photos anyway. And of course, you can also message in the studio on Facebook. Um, it's Sewing Street TV. I've got the, the, the iPad here. Delphine's watching. She's off to um, to do the school run this morning. She says, morning, lovely. I'm so looking forward to seeing you all in a mo. Just dropping the boys and the teachers their Christmas gifts. Oh, you are good, Delphine. I, I was going to say, I bet you've made them, haven't you? I'd love to be a teacher of your class. I bet you're that mom that spends the time making the gifts for all the teachers. Um, morning, Laurie, as well. Right, should we get going? The website, as well, is where you can get all of your kits on pre order. It's sewingstreet.com. Click on Watch Live. If you want to browse the gifts, if you want to browse the catalogues, have a look, go through, as it's all still guaranteed delivery for Christmas. At the bottom, you can see the pre-order section. It will go to two columns. On the right-hand side, you'll see the pre-order section, and then on the left, it will be today's show deals. Here's all your face covering bits and bobs. The 570's back in stock. Um, there is a reason why we've got the sewing pouch in there. Hannah's very excited to tell you the story. Um, I've heard exactly why she's put the sewing pouch in today, and she's really excited to tell you all. If you keep scrolling... <laughs> That was not sarcastic at all. I am very excited. Oh, hang on. I'm not seeing that fat quarter so uh, storage bag since we were in the old studio. It's been ages. They they come in and they disappear, so I've not seen that for ages. Oh, look, you've got a bundle of books there already sold out. Have a good look through the website anyway because we've got lots of lovely gifts, including the seams. Hand cream back in stock. I was on with Karen last week and we didn't have any of the hand creams in. Sanitise a little bundle there. There's lots of great gifts. Keep going because I want to show you where the quilt kit is. All the William Morris um, glasses cases are in. Uh, oh no, keep going. There it is. There it is. Uh, I can't pronounce the designer's name. Odile. I don't want to pronounce it wrong, but um, the the design is absolutely stunning. Basically, the designer, she's part of Free Spirit, but the French Free Spirit. And I just think that's even, that's just so fancy, isn't it? You, it's just got such it, the most beautiful fabrics in there. And you can tell it's, it's really, really special. And then it, it, if you carry on down, then you can see all of the uh, other bits and bobs that were used in that hour. Right. Yarn Lane is also on pre-order. Good morning, Vix. Has your elf been drinking last night? Where's the elf? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He's got his face covering on. He's upside down. Yeah, he's cheeky, isn't he? Um, I didn't realise that we were doing the... Well, I didn't realise that we had a naughty elf in the studio. Has he been... Oh, is he, he's, just, he's been hanging out there for a long time, apparently. Right, Neil, we've got some brand new bundles. Uh, the brand new bundle is the most beautiful floral design, ready for spring. Ready for spring. Now, we've not had this bundle before. The quality of them is beautiful. They're so, so soft against your skin. And what's so amazing about them as well is it's printed onto the panel all of your instructions. This might be a really nice idea for over Christmas. I, I was talking to all of the designers over at our sister channel, Jewelry Maker, and she was saying, you know the best gift that you can give somebody this Christmas is your time. How about buying one of these panels, you could all sit around and, and teach everybody how to make their own face covering. And this is something that's really easy. I mean, me and Neil are going to do it on air today, so we'll show you how easy it is. But you have all of these brand new, beautiful, floral prints. So you've got included there, obviously, your outer... Um, floral print and then you've also got your lining in in the uh of course in the the bundle you also get your interlining so look at how beautiful these patterns are they are gorgeous aren't they and you can see i mean we're getting really really close there they are high quality prints as well they are really high quality prints exclusive to sewing street 100 percent cotton obviously machine washable um they, they feel so, so soft. These panels are really, really beautiful. The blues as well. Look at this one. So you've got all of your instructions. We've got, I'll count how many. Um, look at that. Oh, that's, I think, my favourite, actually. How many masks have we got on here, then? 
Let's have a count. One, two, three. Seven. I want to say seven. Yeah, seven. One every day of the week. Brilliant. And your linings included. And they're all different, look. You can mix and match. There's no right or wrong, is there? You can use any outer with any in here. Oh, absolutely, yeah. There's no right or wrong. It is good. You've just got your plain linings and you've got the really, really beautiful, beautiful colours as well. £12.99. Was it Rebecca Reed who actually had written the instructions for us? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she designed written the instructions. So she'll be watching today, scowling at me <laughs> if I make any mistakes. Oh, no, no pressure, no pressure. Got a long email off after the last time I did it with John. These are all the mistakes you made. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know I've heard about this, so no pressure for us, but we've got to get it right today. <clears throat> no, she's uh, a stickler for detail, isn't she? If you um, have got any tips for us, get them in. Um, we've got a question for you. Oh, for me, I can answer it. Neil, does the pattern include a quarter of an inch seam allowance? Right, so we asked Neil this this morning. So it does include the quarter of an inch seam allowance. Yeah. You don't need to add it. You can literally cut to the line, can't Yeah, you, you just cut round them just so you don't need to leave anything on and then... To get the shape out of the lining, just whatever shape you've cut out, just lie that onto the lining and then draw or use draw that as it. your template. Yeah. Okay, use that as your template. Um, if you do want to make it slightly bigger, by all means, Maxine, you can. There's enough room around them all to be able to do a quarter of an inch around the edge. So it's up to you. They're 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 good sizes, though, aren't they, for adult face yeah. coverings? Yeah. yeah. Um, it's up to you, Maxine. But it is designed already with the quarter of an inch included, so you just need to cut out on the line. This is the newest of our bundles. I haven't even shown you. At twelve ninety nine, not only do you get the panel, you also get included your meter of your official Visaline interlining as well. Hi, Beverly. Good morning, all. Um, don't have much chance to watch live lately, so I'm excited. So lovely to see Neil. Whoop whoop! Bring on the bargains. Oh, have you got any treats for us for later? Um, I've got my may do. Okay. Maybe. Keeping his car as close to his chest today. Um, stay tuned, you never know. Uh, morning, Sally Ann. She's watching. Oh, right, Sally Ann. I bet you know how to pronounce it. Will you, will you tell us phonetically how you pronounce it? Because I don't want to get it wrong. The lovely designer for the Free Spirit Quilt. Okay. We also have a few other bundle. Shall we do this blue one? Right, I'll tell you the code, Hannah. It's GMUU95, if that helps. Now, also in these bundles you don't also get just the interlining you also get your elastic a whole meter of elastic all for 12.99 i mean how amazing is that so this bundle comes with your panel most popular bundle from before and in fact this is the one that we'll be demoing with t from today um hi maxine Oh, she just said, thank you. This is just for my son, is large, and my daughter-in-law is petite. Yeah, so if you do want to make them larger, there's enough room around them to manoeuvre, and there's enough room to add a, a bigger seam allowance if you want. Uh, just £12.99 for the whole bundle, which is brilliant. Not only do you get your panels, bearing in mind, how much do you pay for um, face coverings? For, for lovely fabric ones, you, you can easily pay sort of between £5 and £10 per mask, can't you? And you do also get your elastic and you get an extra layer as well in there which of course is just it is nice to have that extra bit of protection isn't it which is your interlining it's a bonded fabric it's not woven so it means that less air can get through it's still really nice and breathable um, but it, it, it is giving you that extra protection through the winter so you've got your lovely floral prints again very similar to the new one but obviously it's the same print different colorway you've also got your blue stripe I've got this one, look, with the, um... oh, oh, it should be the sewing one with that code, I think, which I believe, let me have a look. I might have the sewing one that I can show you. Don't you worry. Let's have a look. The sewing related one was the most popular last time, you see, so we made sure that we got more of these in. Um, I think they may have sent the wrong one up, you know, because I haven't got the sewing one. Oh dear. Right, it's this one anyway. We probably can show you a picture from the web. Um, okay, I'll have a look. This one, you have this colour. Let's have a look. I have got one that ends O2, yes. Oh, 
Oh, yes, we got it. Here we go. So you have your buttons. You've got your all your notions. You've got your spool. Sorry about that. £12.99. You get your panel. You get your Visaline and you get your beautiful, um, all of these different colourways, plus your elastic, £12.99 for the lot. Already flying into baskets. Very, very popular panel from last time. This one's got your buttons. Look, it's got all the colourful linings on this one. Oh, I like this a lot. It looks really pro, doesn't it? It looks really nice. And especially having a bit of a nod to our craft as well. You do get a metre of elastic with your bundles. Um, now, to do all of them, you will need a little bit more of elastic. Um, we've sold out on the website at the moment. Keep your eyes peeled in the future and we'll get more on, on reorder. But you'll just need a little bit more um, to complete all seven of them, obviously. But you get a metre anyway. If everybody checks out, way over half the stock of this one's gone. And we made sure that we got a lot of these back in stock for you. It was the most popular last time for obvious reasons. It's a bit of a nod to our craft. Look at this one. That's lovely as well, isn't it? With little lacy bits. And it doesn't necessarily, if you're making it for, for gifts, you've got your sewing related ones for yourself, but then you've also got some uh, ones that are lovely for gents. Oh, I like that colour lining with the ochre lining. Mix and match. Morning, Margaret. How are you all? Good morning, Donna. Morning, Vix and everybody. Have you had your haircut, Vix? It looks lovely. Yes, I have. I've, I haven't actually... She said that she only took a nibble off, but it does feel quite short. You know when you go to the hairdressers, you're like literally just this much off. They're like, oh no, you need that much off. And like, oh thanks. You're telling me I need to, all my hair's dead and needs, need chopping off. But no, thank you very much. It does feel a bit fresher, ready for Christmas. That one is super, super popular. Now I'm aware of the time, so we're going to carry on through these bundles. Don't forget you get your interlining and you get your, um, your, your elastic. So how do I know which is the next one? Do you want me to tell you the code? I'll open it up and you'll know which one then so we don't get confused this time. Right. It's all right. This one is... Oh, this one's lovely. This is a bit of a... Um... Oh, a bit of floral. We love the different floral prints. Again, perfect for the new year. Lovely to go into spring, isn't it? Even if, fingers crossed, you know, that we're, we're in a different place in the world next spring, I still think I'm going to carry on with my face coverings in, um, in, in different areas, you know, in the supermarkets or in, if you're travelling anywhere. Oh, OK. Hang on. <laughs> this one, we've, again, I think that we've got a bit confused here. So that one's the new spring florals. Right, they've sent one twice, it's fine. Then we've also got a, a bright floral, which is, you tell me the code then, Hannah. Um, I've, I've seemed to have opened them all up. <laughs> this one we've done. This one I've definitely done. I think there's one more. Okay, we haven't done the, uh, the graphics for it. So this one is um, ending in 95, U95. Yeah, you come on in. All of your instructions are included on the panel, don't forget. Plus you get your Visaline and you get your, um, and you also get your elastic. All for twelve pounds ninety-nine. Thank you, Hannah. Twelve pounds ninety-nine. Twelve ninety-nine. Not only do you have your um, panel, you've got your interlining, and you've also got your um, elastic, all included. Just making sure I've got the other one for you as well. The other one ends in what, sorry, 80. Oh, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I have got that. That's the one that we showed at the start, wasn't it? I can show you this again and just make sure that we've got the correct graphics in for you. Not many of these ones remaining, not many of them. If you do want the sewing related as well, that is flying out. Hi, Katie, you've got a great idea. Morning, Vicky and Neil. I'm going to use plain white lining and use all the colours to make 14 masks. There you go, especially if you're using that one, the sewing related one, it's got the coloured linings. 
Yeah, there you go. Yeah, a few people have done that. Good uh, idea. Messaging and said. Really good value, isn't it? <coughs> they are you'd, brilliant value. You'd get 14 out of that metre of um, interface into, I imagine. Yeah, absolutely. Ah, oh, see, I, sorry, I thought this one was the new one. This is the one, um, the floral, blue floral. £12.99. It's all on the website. You'll find them all. You'll be able to see really clearly. Sorry, we've made it a bit more complicated than it is. It's only £12.99. You get all of those colours, plus you get your interlining and you get your elastic for £12.99. pence. Brilliant. Okay, shall we get sewing? So we're going to have the main graphic as the, the new panel. Yeah, new panel. And we're working with the sewing one. So we'll show you both. Okay, fab. Thank you. Right, where do we start then, Neil? We've cut out all of our pieces, so what are we going to need? Two of the outer, obviously, two of the lining, <coughs> and then your Visaline. Yeah, we're going to start with um, the two outer ones Kay. and the two lining pieces first. Sorry, I'm moving it around and the camera's having to chase me. How many of these have you made now then, Neil? Um, I don't know, but I'm not sure whether I get better each try or worse. <laughs> <laughs> So first thing you want to do is get the um, outer piece, uh, which is probably the bolder pattern, and put those um, fa uh, facing each other, so right sides together. Okay. I think is the correct sewing terminology. It is indeed. <laughs> and then you want one piece of the um, interlining on each side of it. So you end up with a sandwich, if you like, with the lining on the bottom, then the two inner, the two outer pieces, and then the lining on the top. So a four deep sandwich. So depending on your skill level, you can choose to put a pin in this. Okay, oh, I will then. Usually I wouldn't, but you know, just for demo. <laughs> just Let's for the sake it. of demo, I will. Um, you probably only need one pin just to like hold them together because we're only going to sew round the curved edge okay. at this point. So I, I imagine Reed is shouting no down the telly at me right now. Already? <laughs> probably. <laughs> We've only done the, the but we sandwich. Do, we're just going to sew, we're leaving a quarter inch seam we're just going to sew round that curve. Okay, do I need to do a reverse stitch or anything? Yeah, probably. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, you don't want it all, uh, all unfolded or anything, so yeah. Earlier, we've done a great job of setting this machine up this morning. Didn't we? I mean, it's not a race, but you don't want to finish last. <laughs> You're waiting for me, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not waiting for you. It's um, it's good actually that you have got that um, speed control on both machines. So novices like myself. Well, it's not necessarily that. It's when you're going on a curve, you do want to make sure that you you're um, keeping your seam lines. Oh, do I need to trim my? Well, um... Just keep it neat, really. Okay. I've got no elastic either. You'll have to throw me some across in a bit, but I'm good for now. Right. Now you just want to sew together the um, the inner pieces again, right so sides together. These are our lining. Round the curve, yeah. yeah. Oh, are you going for this without a pin, or are you going for no? You're pinning. I'll go for it without I a pin. I might go let's, rogue. Let's go up a level. Let's level up. <laughs> Any tips for sewing round a curve, Neil? Uh, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, for me, I just have to do it slowly. Um, and what I tend to do is I line up the edge of the curve with part of the foot. Yeah. And I just keep the same distance there all the way around. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure whether that's an official tip or makes any sense to anyone, but that's how I do it. Lots of people saying you're a very good teacher this morning, Neil. It's getting better. I, d I haven't got a scissor button on this machine, have I? Uh, that's a 5.50, no, sorry, we've put you the one without the scissors. You might uh, there is like a little cutter still on the side though. Hang on, my, I... my machine's come on thread. Oh no, do you need the technical support? Uh, do you want to swap? There it is. No, I'm gonna, I reckon I can re-thread this live on air. Oh come on, let's have a look. No pressure. Right, can I just remind you, because I want to make sure this is clear, this is the brand new spring floral gorgeous panel never been on air before you get for £12.99 all seven new prints you also get all of your lining fabrics and you get your instructions plus you get elastic a meter of elastic and your meter of visaline interlining as well just so you know 
It's very, very busy, Hannah's saying, and half the stock of those have gone, and we had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these. They're really beautiful. I think my favourite is the, these lovely vine ones. You've got them in blue and you've got them in yellow. They're both lovely. And these ones are nice. £12.99. We're under £2 a mask. Under two pounds for a cotton beautiful mask, which is really good valuable. Bearing in mind, these are reusable. These are ones that you can wash. Um, obviously with the interlining as well, you can wash up to 60 degrees. Um, you've got your linings as well and your instructions. Back in the day. Well done, <coughs> well done. I tell you, I, like, before I worked here, I used to work in a, a well-known computer game retailer. Okay. And if someone told, told me a few years from now, you'll be threading a sewing machine live on air, I'd never believed it. <laughs> Oh no, my iron let me <coughs> plug myself in. Go on, you carry so, on. So we've got the two the two pieces now. We do just need to iron over the uh, seams now. I, I think when you're dressmaking, I've never done any dressmaking. You generally iron them flat, open. Yeah. But because we don't want to leave a gap in the middle for anything to get through, we're going to just iron them to one side. A particular size? Does it matter? Well, left or right, you know, yeah. your, your choice. Okay. Um, <laughs> you really need that thing that John had last time because it's did he quite use a ham? To if put that's what you in. call it, yeah, like a big. You know, yeah, like yeah. a tailor's ham. It's quite hard to iron it if you've only got a flat surface to one side. So I'm just gonna finger press it for the sake of speed. Okay, I'm just having a look and seeing if I can find the ham. I think guests enjoy, you know, walking off with ha with the tailor's ham. We find a lot of time looking for the the ham, don't we, for the pressing ham. Or the sleeve, right? I'm going to just press this to the side. But you're right, actually, it would really help having the. Um, yeah, it's really hard to, because um, of the curve, it's really hard to to do it flat. I've just finger pressed it. I mean, to be fair, you don't re you don't have to iron it. Bex Reed says you have to, but you can just cut that step out. Okay. So once you've um, once you've kind of pushed the seams to one side and you're happy, you just need to get the right sides together for the whole sandwich. Then, and we're going to end up sewing all the way around the end. So. I'm putting the yellow side towards the side and you want to get that seam um, as close as you can in the middle. Hang on, I'm, I'm a bit lost. So I've got my line in pieces. Yeah, so... Yeah, so it's like a, a mask like this, yeah. Yeah, so get the right side facing up with the line in pieces facing down. Yep. Yeah. And like, so curve, like the curve coming towards you, so that, that curve's kind of inside out. My phone's just gone off my pocket, I bet that's read now. <laughs> and then... <laughs> And then the other piece, the piece that goes in the middle, you're going to kind of push it into that seam, and you want it as you want it as close as uh, as close as you p can physically get it. You don't again you right sides together. It. Yeah, right sides together. The one that Neil is using, by the way, is the, your side graphic. It's the one that says "last few chances." This is it. If you do want your your sewing related panel. It is now the last few chances. Are you going to pin here at all? I'm going to pin, yeah, because this is there's, there's quite a lot of sewing. There to do is now. a lot of layers here, so yeah. I'm trying to match up these seams as best as possible. So, so yeah, I'm going to put some pins in to help me because otherwise I'll slip. I'll probably end up putting more pins in my fingers than anywhere else. There you go. Elliot just said, "Oh, I've got yours, Vic," and he said, "No, I'm going to stay with Neil. He's doing ever so well." This looks very good. Mine is looking very neater clear. now. I think uh, whoever cut mine out for me today did a much better job than last time. So, oh, does the cutting really matter then, do you think? Well, last time the two Haley's cut the masks out and I'm not sure what they used to cut them out, to be honest. Blunt oh. scissors, Stanley knife. <laughs> <laughs> but, but these have been cut out much better. So whoever cut these out, they've done a much better job. This is probably overkill on pins. But... Um, It'll just make life a bit easier. I'm sure you, you sewers at home that are more experienced will just stick You'll a couple of pins up, yeah, in. Yeah, absolutely. So once you've got all this pinned together, you're going to have to sew. Um, we're basically going to be sewing all around the outside, but we need to leave a gap. So I'm going to leave the gap in the edge of just about maybe an inch and a half gap on that edge. Right, enough to be able to turn it all Yeah, enough through. to be able to turn it all the way through. Is there a particular place you start? Which way are you going to go round? You, well, you're better off starting on one of the edges and leaving the gap in the edge. So then just go all the way around and then come back. So you've left a gap here. Okay. Because to attach the elastic, this is going to get folded over, so you won't see that gap afterwards. Hello, in Merseyside. Oh, Collector in Merseyside, loving the sew along with Neil. I'm loving the sew along with Neil. It's going 
moves are quick, isn't it? And it's, it's, it's really good. I mean, this is something that we can all do at home together with our friends and family as well, well isn't I it? Thought, Getting everybody to sew. Because we often have everyone around our house at Christmas. I thought this year I'm going to have a sewing machine set up in the hallway and anyone who's forgot their mask... Has to go and make their own. ...has to get them to make their own, yeah, before they come in. Good idea. Well done, everybody who is checking out already. The, uh, the, of course, the um, most popular, as we all thought it would be, is the sewing-related panel, which was very, very popular last time. And um, it's just twelve pound ninety-nine, and it is there's still the last few chances. I mean, it goes out the same, but when you get to the bit in the middle where there's the extra seam, you just want to slow down with the machine a bit just to get to the thicker. Did you stop at the, have you stopped at the point or anything yet to pivot round or have you got to that bit yet? Um, well, I've stopped and yeah, I've had to lift the thing. I don't know how you leave the, the needle down there's, on this machine. On that button, on the top, there's, um, it looks like a little um, arrow down. Well, Press that. There we go. There you go. Next level. Right, we've got another, uh, we've got another challenge for you, Neil. Um, should have been a sew along. Should have been a sew along with Neil Garrett. Can't wait for when he does one of, oh, Fran, yeah, here we go. So you've got Mark Francis shirt to do next. <laughs> a shirt. I think that's probably beyond my capabilities, have to be go. honest. Have a go, have a go. Oh, that'd be good. I think we should make this a thing, shouldn't we now? Sew along with Neil. You are very clear, to be fair to you, Neil. Yeah, I think people want experts on Sewing Street, though, don't they? Not, you are. Um, not you are me. today. <laughs> are you off flying later? I, I am actually flying today, yeah. I've got my mock test today because I've got my actual test tomorrow. Oh! So, so what does that mean after tomorrow? Uh, so after tomorrow I'll be able to fly with 19 unlucky um, volunteers. <gasps> Passing that's passing that's I was going to say, that's probably enough for the team to go on a nice little uh, a vacation somewhere. I did suggest that we could go to somewhere like Bali, you know, to see the traditional dyeing techniques or something. But we've decided maybe we just go to, you know... Ibiza. <laughs> I, I was thinking more like we could go to Coventry or something. <laughs> just half an hour <laughs> would be probably best. No, so I was um, just... Neil's got his flight bag with him and he's got his walkie-talkies, he's got all sorts in there. But um, do you have to wear a mask when you're flying? Um, no. No. Because um, I suppose you could do, but because we're communicating, like, and, like, you know, me and the person next to me, we're not facing each other. Has anything... You, sh um, you shouldn't need to cut any excess off. Okay. <laughs> Why are you cutting then? Um, because my sewing was at my, my quarter inch is a bit a wonky. Bit okay. Yeah. So sometimes it's a quarter of an inch, sometimes it's a bit more. So I'm just trimming the excess off. But once you've done this, you just need to turn it all the way through that little hole that you left. Right. And I need to remember to take my pins out. There's kind of three it. layers, but you do need to turn it with the two uh, right side layers coming out. Okay. This is when I find out. Oh, I've not done another big enough gap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, rookie mistake. I'm, I'm just pushing mine through thinking, oh dear, or maybe I didn't leave a big enough hole. I always watch guest designers do this and I s always will say, if you say, you've got to leave a big enough hole. And also I always think you need one of those pokey tall things. And here I am probably going to be looking for a pair of scissors and you oh, shouldn't uh, use this. Oh, you've got an actual turning tool. I've got tool a turning here. tool, yeah. I had a message from Margaret. Well done, Neil. You've put yourself in the hot seat again and you're getting better. Um, I'd wait until you see it turn the right way around because I can already see a flaw. Oh, no. <laughs> well done, Margaret. Thank you, Margaret. Um, Marion says, morning, guys. Not, e not everybody needs experts. To It's good to have beginners on because then we others learn. I agree with you. Maybe we could do like beginner's sewing co corner with us two. Go on. We've got... Um, you know I'm turning through. What have I done wrong? Oh, uh, I thought I thought we were. Um... Oh, the panel that we're both working with is sold out. Well done if you managed to get the sewing room one. And um, main graphics now for your spring floral, which is the brand new. Let me show you again. Is this one? 
Don't forget you get a metre of your interlining and you get elastic, a metre of elastic. Way over three quarters of the stock has now gone. Uh, and of course, I, I mean, I, I don't want to get all doom and gloom with this, but it's really important that we're all wearing our face coverings now, isn't it? And uh, as I say, going forward into the new year, I will certainly still be wearing my face covering. I think it's just going to be a new wear life, isn't it? So to have plenty that are going to go with all your outfits and look pretty, it's good. Right, what are you doing now, sorry? Um, You've skipped ahead. I've, now I've turned it out and put all the edges out, so I'm just going to iron it just to flatten it off a little bit. Just to It's looking good. I like the lining. Even if the lining sort of pops out a bit, it looks nice, doesn't it? Nice bright yellow. So there is a smaller uh, floor on mine. Go we're, on. We'll just, well, actually, we'll no, just gloss over it. Mistake. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. No, no one will see it. It was the same one as last time. It's because my seam allowance got too sh too small. Ah, uh, okay. So what what's happened to it? It's then? fine because you can't see it on telly. <laughs> 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 but it wouldn't it wouldn't survive cr close scrutiny. Um, basically, I've just got a bit, like, my um, edge is just, there's a small hole in the top. Okay. Where it didn't match, but it's fine. So I'm gonna well, you could a, just go over I'm that. I'm going to put a decorative yeah. stitch around the edge, which is going to solve top this. Top stitch it. You're going to top stitch. It, yeah. stitch. Fancy. Okay, right, I'm doing my pressing now as well. So when you, if, you, if you're going to do a top stitch, if you just um, push the edges in on your, uh, where we did the little hole as well. So the yeah, gap here, the gap. Yeah. you've got to make sure that that's tucked in quarter of an inch as well. Press that down. Yeah. And then I'm just going to do a really quick... Uh, so you are top stitching all the way around the edge? Yeah, absolutely. Are you all doing the way any around. decorative stitch? Uh, I'm just doing whatever stitch is on the machine. Right, I'm going to have a look on the 570. I wonder if it's got a sewing related one. Let's yeah, you have can a do look. the little scissors or something. I think there is I'm scissors do on it. one of them. Have I got there? time? Possibly. Okay, let me see if I've got scissors. The one that I'm using is the 570A, you see. Oh my gosh, it does. Right, do you want a spool or do you want scissors? Or should I do a combo of both because it has a memory? Um, let me see if I can do it. 96. I think I remember how to do this. It's been a while. 96, memory. Yep. Yeah. 97, memory. What, are you just going for a straight stitch round, Neil? Yeah, I'm just going for it. Memory. I mean, obviously, if I was doing this at home, I'd do a, a lovely stitch, but because it's just trying to get it done quickly for TV, I'm just going to do a basic one. So you've got a oh, sewing really? machine set up at home, <laughs> Neil? I have actually, yeah. Do the boys do the boys sew? Uh, have you got them into it? No, like my boys are, are proper like laddie boys. They just want to do karate and play football. <laughs> they have had little goes here and there, but. They're quite boisterous. I think that's what you what happens when you're when you're growing up, isn't that you have a little go on things, don't you? And then you remember doing it, don't you? As you grow up, I'm just checking. No, I've not done that right. Um, <coughs> let me see. Oh, it's because I'm on mode one. It needs to be mode two, doesn't it? I just it's a good job I practiced on my um right, let me go through mode two, 96, 97. This has got so many stitches. <laughs> 200 stitches on this one um or is it actually even more well it's it's got that much and then it's got it's got your alphabets as well i shouldn't be listening to elliot really should i neil no he's a bad influence okay so once you've um, got your mask cut out you're just going to um, make some channels for the uh, elastic to go through and you do that you're just going to fold over about an inch on the edges you can fold over more or less depending on how big your face is so if you've got a smaller face, you can yeah. bring this channel a bit bigger, make the mask a bit smaller. If you've got a, a, well, a rounder face like me, you might want to make the uh, channel a bit smaller. We've all heard about um, Hannah this morning, haven't we? Hannah says that when she wears her face mask, because she's got glass on and she's got quite a small face, um, her glasses always slip off when she wears her, as soon as she moves her head. So she needs a smaller mask. Right, I'm on mode two now. Sorry, this is taking me forever. You carry on, Neil. So I'm just making channels. I've just made sure they're symmetrical. Um, they're symmetrical at the. F it's even at the front. It's not even on the back, and that's because of my poor sewing. <laughs> so, in theory, it's good. In theory, that should be totally symmetrical, but it's not because my um, my sewing was poor. I tell well, you what, you are a true sewer now. If you point out your flaws all the time. When I first started, I was literally like, oh, yes, I wouldn't even care that it had holes and everything. I was just so proud. And now, as you sort of progress through you think oh do you know what that's not quite perfect that's not quite perfect so that is true 
I mean, you I just point out your flaws. So in the channel from the front. Right, I've done it. Let's let's. I'm going for it, Hannah. I'm going to have a go with my top stitching. I don't know what kind of thread we've put on. Oh, we've got like a brown. This should be okay. Right. Oh no, I think my. It's quite an in-depth stitch, isn't it? So. Um, You'll probably take a while, yeah. No, it's all going on the spot, I think. You, you put away from me. <laughs> it's a <laughs> no, lot no, harder no, on no. the telly, isn't it? Let's keep the camera on, because we think. do need something for the bloopers reel. <laughs> oh, no, don't. Let's just, just, just pull the plug. Yeah, I, I think it was just a bit um, bulky. Let me find the seam ripper. I'm going to start again. It what, the whole mask? <laughs> you carry on, Neil. So mine's ready for the elastic now. Hi Lisa, Lisa's messaged in. Um, I've turned on the TV to see you two doing this so long. You need to do this more often. Brilliant start to my Friday morning. Thank you ever so much. We're all learning along together, aren't we? How's it going with your channels there? My channels are done. I'm just going to try and work out roughly how much elastic I need because the last couple of times I've um, gone too big or too small. So a totally unscientific method. I reckon I'm going to need 10 inches, so I'm going to take, I'm going to go down to nine. No, 10 actually because of the knot. Last time I forgot to leave enough for the knot. Oh, okay. But if you do too much, it doesn't matter because we've got some no. of these um, tightening. They're like, they're elastic adjusters. They're brilliant, aren't they? Um, I've got the round ones, the little coin ones, uh, which are your cord locks. And then you've also got the, uh, the, the tubes. The round ones are on your screen. They're just £3.99 and you get 48 in the pack. So let's face it, you're probably only going to need the one pack, aren't you? £3.99 worth adding to your order. So Bex Reed uh, recommends putting a safety pin through the edge of the elastic and then mm -hmm. threading it through. But I found a better technique, oh. and that's to get one of these pokey sticks. Yeah. And you can actually just like poke it through the elastic without damaging it because the fibres will just go to one side. And then you can just poke it through from the bottom. Oh, so, nice. So that's, that's really clever. Top tip. Yeah, so there you go. So that, that, that advice is better than reads. And I'm actually going to try sewing this um, elastic now. I've never done this before. John Scott t egged me on to do it. So what's John Scott's total? How is he? Um, what, what's the tip from John? You've literally just oh, put them. So I was just, I, I usually just knot them. But John Scott said you should sew those. So I'm going to have a go. I think this is going to end badly, if I'm honest. No, but, go um, for it. What, what's the worst that can happen? So you're overlapping them and just going to do a few stitches back and forth. So that, that's the plan. OK. <laughs> This seemed like a good idea at the time. Yeah, I don't think this is going to um, work for me. I think my, I've, I've, I think my skill levels have um, diminished. <laughs> we believe in you, Neil. We believe in you. Um, right, we've got a message across the bottom. Susan, morning, Vicky, Neil and team. Well done on your demos. Happy Christmas to you all. Merry Christmas as well, Susan. Thank you. <laughs> I've really enjoyed this. I think we should make this a regular thing. Sorry, I'm just into all of the different stitches. I'm going for the spool one now, I've just decided. I've stopped at trying to do a really long sequence because I, 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 don't, I don't think I'm telly ready for a long sequence and I don't think we've got time. I'm, I'm spending too much time going through, how many stitches did you say there were on this machine? 380. Let me just check my spool one's working, let's have a look. Yeah, I'm happy with the sport. I'm going for it. You could put names on it and personalise them, couldn't you, actually? So then you know exactly which is your mask. I think the problem with my the first time I did this was it was quite bulky to start with. I needed my humper jumper. I've done it. You're finished! How well, did you get on with it? Can we have a look at the elastic or not? Probably not close, but I have, put, I have managed to stitch it together and that is holding. Go on, let's see it. It's holding. So that doesn't need to be on show anyway, does it? Because that no, bit can no, go we'll inside in, the we'll channel. No, no, we'll it into the channel, but we are, I have managed to get a stitch through there. So it is possible. You can always re-stitch it, we're gonna We're going to yeah. pull it through, yeah. If it breaks, you can always re-stitch oh, it. It's not going to break, it just doesn't look pretty. There you go, there you amazing. Go. So one side done. I'm going to do the other side now. I tell you what, Neil, your masks are getting more and more professional every time, aren't they? They are. I just need to take more time on my uh, seam allowance going around the edge because I do, do seem to... Uh, oh, Karen's got a tip for us. Here you go, Neil, glue the edges before sewing it. 
um, and then it doesn't move around. That's Karen in Tamworth. Uh, it's a good tip. That's not a bad idea at all. And if I glue it, do I still have to bother sewing it or can I just leave it glued? No, you have got to sew it as well. You can't just glue it. I bet some of that um, spray, you know, that spray adhesive, I bet that would help as well. Uh, I suppose then it's all over the mask then, mm. it's going over your face. Yeah, actually probably not a good idea, don't use the spray adhesive. Right, everybody who is at home who, who's, you know, familiar with top stitching with fancy stitches will, will be probably a bit upset with me. <laughs> mm. I'm going for it, which... This is where I went off piece when I was um, reading Karen's message on the screen, but we'll talk about it. It's a, de it's a design feature, it's fine. I quite I like these spools going round. I really want to take pride in this because this is the one that I will be wearing now for the rest of the day. I'm off to have my booster jab today, so I'll wear this with pride. <laughs> I had mine um, a couple of weeks ago. Oh, and, did uh, you? Yeah, and I, I didn't have any reaction at all for the first one. And all I had for this one was a really bad dead arm. Yeah. It's like I've been punching the arm. Did you feel all right after the booster as well? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wasn't yeah. Like, ill. I wasn't ill. I just had, I just had a dead arm. There we go. Mine's actually complete now. Moment of truth. Woohoo! I tell you what, that looks great, doesn't it? And it's all holding together, which is the main yeah. thing. What about the hole that you had at the top? Is well, that... yeah. Let's, let's just not talk about the hole. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you'll see it on camera. Well, because it's curved as well, it fits your face nicely. There's no um, gapes where, you know, you're yeah. protected. It's like a nice, smug, uh, snug fit. Yeah. And, um, and it's still breathable, isn't it? Yeah, even you can breathe fine with it. Even though you've got the, the extra layer of interlining as well, it's still... Yeah, you can't tell. No, brilliant. So. I think they're all so comfortable. I think we're all got more comfortable wearing masks. I remember last, uh, right at the start of last year, I was thinking, oh, my word, this feels really alien. I don't know how I'm going to cope wearing this anywhere. And now... If anything, it also, it keeps me warm. Keeps me warm, or if I haven't got my makeup on, it's quite nice to cover my face. I've got so used to wearing them now. Right, I'm gonna still carry on, but thank you ever that, so much. Does that mean you only do half your makeup now? Neil, I believe that you've got a little treat for us whilst I'm um, still doing my spool top stitching. I have, <laughs> I, I think it's one that Ian brought on, wasn't it? Right, so. Is this the, is this the, I assume this is the treat she's talking about, and there's not another treat. This is the treat that we're talking about. So Neil came on, uh, sorry, Ian came on and did a manager's special. Ian came on and did a manager's special, but this one didn't um, crash properly, did it? Because Ian's a bit amateur, you see. So everybody got the price, but it just didn't reduce on screen, basically. Uh, no, it just didn't reduce on screen. So everyone paid the price that we uh, said it was going to be, because we yeah. manually did it, but it didn't change on screen. So you have to remind me, I can't remember what prices we did So, yeah, we wanted, to, uh, we wanted to do it again to make sure. I think you're going to be shocked, actually, where Ian went, because it was supposed to go £10 lower, amazing at £39.99. Yeah. Bearing in mind, this is always £49.99. But you let Ian be the manager. He yeah, couldn't well, even tell us his job title, and you <laughs> let him discount the price. You just said, yeah, go on out and discount it. Well, to be fair, no one knows what Ian does. He just, <laughs> he just turned up one day, and he's been turning up every day since. So. <laughs> He went to 34.99, so that was lower than he was told to that go. That was lower than he was told to go, yeah. It's Riley Blake, it's 10 inch charm. They're absolutely beautiful quality. I'm gonna go and take your secret Santa out the uh, box in the office. <laughs> yeah, that is a massive discount today. And it's the first time that you've seen that price as well on air. I think if we can zoom in from the back, you can see the uh, designs that are in it, can't we? If we do top down. Just for anybody that missed it the other day, we do want to make sure that everybody gets the chance at this amazing discount because I think that's one of the best discounts we've ever done on a 10 inch charm pack. £15 off. Even on Black Friday, uh, I think the best that we did was £10 off. That is so good. £15 off Riley Blake. And they're really lovely fabrics as well. I like the stripes, the big stripes. 42 pieces. I can't believe I'm still doing top stitching. I know. I can't believe how long it's taken you. Yeah? It's such a, a quick ma mask. I wonder if. Um... I bet you could get a mask out of, this, about, out of one of these, you know? Well, I was talking to Stuart Hillard and he says the 10 inch charm packs are the most versatile pre-cut because there's so much that you can do with them. Um, and like you said, actually, yeah, they'd be lovely for face coverings, wouldn't they? Yeah, I think you could get a mask out of each, um, out of each piece. So there's 42 pieces in there, so that's 24 masks with the outer and the inner. You Brilliant. can make out of this pack. They are absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? They remind, um, they remind me of, you know, the shop Jules, 
they're like that sort of colours, very country, really beautiful colours. I love them. $34.99, remember, it was a manager's special. Even if you stitch them together, remember, you could make things like an infinity scarf. Um, you're not just limited to just quilting with these. There's so much that you can do. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you ever so much to Ian for that one because honestly that was supposed to be 39, well it was supposed to be 49.99, but as a manager's special price it was supposed to be 39.99. I think he got carried away with the title of manager, Neil. Yeah, he always does. <laughs> I think he needs reining in, doesn't he? I think he needs reining in. So if you if I have a day off and leave him in charge of the office, come back and he's rearranged all the furniture, he's you know <laughs> redecorated the place. Taking prices down willy nilly, what's yeah. he like? Thirty four ninety nine, and we're all absolutely thrilled that he has. I mean, that is a brilliant price. Only while stocks last, we've honoured the price today. Forty two piece. I mean, look at all of these. I love the fact that with a, a a charm pack, you do get all different scales of print. You have that whole collection. Absolutely amazing. Thirty four ninety nine. Thank you ever so much, Neil. That's okay. It's been amazing. I've almost finished mine, by the way. I've almost finished mine. You will come and see mine in a minute. I'm going to finish it in the break, if that's okay. Because I, I only need to do the um, only need to do the elastic then. But do you like my top stitching? That is really good, actually. This is my top stitching. It's been worth, worth the wait, hasn't it? Thank you. I just need to give it a bit of a press. But yes, and we'll see Neil's again. I'm not on mine. Mine's not as good as yours now. Oh, no, it is. That's amazing. It looks great. You need it now for your, your flying, don't you? You need this now for your test. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Should we do a bit of a recap? We'll see you soon. When are you back on? Um, I don't know. Are you going to be know. here before Christmas? Um, possibly. Okay, we'll hopefully see you before Christmas. If not, I won't see you. Merry Christmas. Yep, see you later. Thank you. Uh, right, so let's have a recap. Remember, the sewn one has sold out. We've got the brand new spring florals. That was great fun, wasn't it? Um, if you can blow a candle through a mask, then it doesn't protect you. Oh, that's good to know. So it's good to do a bit of a tester. Um, I'll have to let Neil know for when he's got the sewing machine out for people to make their own masks as they enter his house over Christmas. Uh, they could also have a candle there in a test to see whether you've sewn it right. So you've got your brand new spring florals panel. You also get a metre of your Visaline interlining and you get your elastic all for £12.99. Once everybody checks out, there is then 14 of these bundles remaining. Only 14 of these bundles. And this is brand new. It comes with all of these lovely brand new prints and it also comes with your, with your lining. And look, it's very, very clear. It's all labelled exactly what's what. You don't need to cut any further than the pattern. It's the seam allowance included. Don't get me wrong, if you want to make a larger mask, if you make one up and you think, do you know what, actually, this is for somebody who's, who, who has got a larger face. I don't mean that in a, in a disrespectful way. I just mean, we just all have different sized faces. You can make, Elliot say, hands up, I've got a large face. So you should try one of these and see whether you'd need an extra seat, um, quarter inch seam allowance. Because you've got enough around the edge, haven't you? £12.99. £12.99. <laughs> I didn't want to say, Elliot, but... Uh, right, we also have the blues. You tell me code, is it 28? It looks like this one actually, 28, this one is lovely. I think it's 80, I think it's ending in 80. This has got the blues. So look, you've also got all of your instructions included on the panel. You've got your stripe, two florals in blue. Gosh, I'm ever so warm. I think I'm, I'm, I was all flustered. There's only eight of these bundles remaining. Only eight of these bundles remaining now. Now you will need a bit of extra elastic to make these because of course you've, um, you get a metre. You do get a metre in the bundle, which is enough to be able to make obviously a few, more than one, but um, you're probably just gonna need to add some more from your stash. 20, sorry, 12 pounds, not 20, 12 pounds, 99, which makes it two pound per mask. Brilliant value for, for reusable, beautiful designer face coverings. More of you have got that in baskets than we have available now, so it is uh, whoever can get through first. This next one 
is called Bright Floral. So it's the same prints as we've just seen, but this time in a different colourway. So where we had the blues, you've got the sort of green tones. Now there's only 16 of these left. I like this one. I do like this one. That's really nice. So you could make these for people for Christmas. So then they've got them ready for their springtime face covering selection. It's nice to um, actually have them matching your outfits now or having something that's a bit um, fresh and, and friendly. Because obviously when you're wearing face coverings, you can't see people smile, can you? So it's really nice to have something that says, hello, I'm friendly and I'm smiling under here. <laughs> Hannah's like, oh my word, stop talking. No, I, I would embroider Hello, I'm Friendly on mine or wear a, a badge. <laughs> no, if you're just wearing a nice, floral, fresh fabric. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Oh, my word. Can I just say, <laughs> my iPad has got subtitles on today and that I just, I, just, I just read it back what I said on air. Just take me off now. Hello, I'm Friendly. Those of you that are watching for the first time, I'm so sorry, but I am friendly. Not only do you get your panel, you get your interlining and you have a metre of elastic included as well. Now, there is a story behind the little zipper pouch. I said this at the start of the show, everybody has been, oh, just, we've all just been waiting in suspense to hear Hannah's story. Now, there'll all be various different designs, they'll all be sewing themed, but they're really lovely and plush, they're fluffy, they've got a really, really beautiful fabric. Um, so the idea is on a keychain. So we've got an idea. You could attach this to your zip on your handbag and just slot it into your bag and keep your face covering in there so you don't lose it in the depths of your bag. How is it? I've got a handbag, which is, you know, not a massive size. I can never find my keys. I can never find my face mask. They're buried in the bottom or they're in the po my pocket getting dirty. You can keep it separate. It'll fit in. Um, if you've got your face mask, you could maybe put maybe put your um, <laughs> you could put your seams uh, hand gel in there as well, couldn't you? You could put that onto your keys or keep that really handy. I, I know this is is this a silly idea. I could keep this on my belt hook on my jeans, so then it's just there, ready, uh, and when you end, go anywhere, it's attached. And it's not in the depths of my handbag and the depths of the crumbs in my bag. <laughs> um, now, there will be various sewing-themed prints. For example, you can see one on the website, which is all your sewing machines. They're all lovely. They're all lovely, but they're all at random. Claire, you've made me feel a little less strange. She's put, I know a, show, it's a, a shop assistant who has a smile printed on a mask. Oh, she's put, it looks a little odd until you get used to it. Oh, I thought you were on my side then. Just before we go, I know we're all sewers as well, so if you do want to make your own zipper pouch, we thought you might need a little slip, uh, uh, swivel clip <laughs> to be able to clip it to your handbag or clip it to your belt buckle like I've decided to do. It's only £1.99 if you want to make your own little zipper. Um, I'm going to carry on with my top stitching. Uh, you carry on. You talk amongst yourselves, everybody. I really want to finish this, sorry, because it's really annoying me that Neil beat me on time. Should we go to a break whilst I carry on with my sewing? Um, don't go anywhere because I'm going to be back here for two hours anyway and we're going to be talking all things gifts. We've got tools. Um, we're going to have a bit of a, a look at the machines as well that we've been using today because this is brilliant. The Fat Quarter Storage Bag's already sold out. I was excited about seeing that one. Anyway, we've got loads more treats for you coming up right after this. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. 
Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! from the Swift Quilting Company. I just wanted to wish everybody on Sewing Street, from the behind the scenes crew, to the presenters, to all the viewers, a very happy Christmas and a fabulous new year. Cheers. Hello everyone. Merry Christmas from Jane Greenoff. See you in the new year. Bye. Hello everyone, it's Cara. Just pop by to wish you all a really, really happy Christmas with your family and friends. Wishing you every happiness for 2022 and I look forward to seeing you on Sewing Street. Happy Christmas, bye! Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Visit our program guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! from the Swift Quilting Company. I just wanted to wish everybody on Sewing Street, from the behind the scenes crew, to the presenters, to all the viewers, a very happy Christmas and a fabulous new year. Cheers. Hello everyone. Merry Christmas from Jane Greenoff. See you in the new year. Bye. Hello everyone, it's Cara. Just pop by to wish you all a really, really happy Christmas with your family and friends. Wishing you every happiness for 2022 and I look forward to seeing you on Sewing Street. Happy Christmas, bye! 
heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Right, I did finish the uh, mask in the break there. It's, I think I might need the toggles. Do you know the little plastic toggles or make my, um, my elastic a little bit tighter? But it's quite a big mask. You know when you were saying about leaving, um, doing the seam allowance? I don't think you need to add seam allowance to it. Check and see uh, with the size of your face, but I don't think I've got a particularly small face. What do you think? That's great, isn't it? And it's so quick to make. Sorry, it's getting stuck on my earpiece. Um, but it's so quick to make. It just needs to be. I think I need to do my uh, elastic slightly tighter. But I actually like that it covers from here right down to your chin as well. It really is a good face covering. Um, and also, do you like my top stitching? It's the uh, it's the new. Yeah, I'll show you a bit. I'll show you a bit closer here. It's got such lovely selection of stitches. So with the um, with the the spring florals, you could choose a floral design. This is with the um, the spools obviously going round. What do you think? Don't judge my sewing. I know I can feel you scrutinising my sewing, Elliot. Thank you. Right. Anyway. If you twist the elastic, it will shorten a little, said Claire. What do you mean? Twist it. Um, do I need to twist it all right? Like, do I need to? Anyway, I, I'm not quite sure. Do you mean to do it before I've stitched it? Or let me know, Claire. Right, this hour, we've got so much to bring you, um, including we want to talk through the machine. A few people were asking about it in the last hour. It is back in stock. Hannah tried to schedule this uh, about three days ago and it wasn't available. We've literally just loaded it into the system today. So I know some have become available over the last few days. It's an amazing machine, absolutely brilliant machine. I can't recommend it enough. The reason being is because it's compact it's still um I, I would i would not call it a lightweight machine but it's one that if you haven't got a designated sewing space in your home it's one that you can easily sort of port around whether it be to a caravan or a holiday home i sew on the dining room table so it's nice to be able to put it away when it comes to dinner time you have to um so this this is um the 570a which is looks very similar to the 550 the 560 the difference with this and where it is a game changer for me is the fact it has an alphabet. So you've got a sewing space you can see there of 170 millimeters and a free arm. So brilliant for bag making, great for dress making. It's got that LCD screen, which is very, very clear and easy to navigate through. It's got a horizontal full rotary hook with transparent bobbin cover. So you can see when your bobbin's running low. Um, it's got the built-in needle threader. It's got a seven piece retractable feed dog. So it feeds through thicker layers, lovely. It's also got your built-in in LED light, which makes such a difference when you've got that nice bright light. You don't need to worry about changing bat, uh, bulbs. You don't need to worry about it um, giving off heat. It's LED. It's got the manual thread tension control, an easy guided bobbing threader and built in uh, a built in thread cutter. That is also a game changer. It's literally got the scissor snips at the front of the machine. You press it and it can snip your, uh, your thread. You've also actually got a memory on this to snip your thread. So if you come back to the machine, can you see if I click that, it's highlighted the scissors on the top here. That means at the end of your thread, your stitch sequence, it will cut your thread for you. Game changer. Don't get me wrong, some of the time you might not want that selected. For example, if you're doing gathering and you need those ends to stay long, you can unselect it just with the touch of a button on the, the front of the, the machine. We go back to the, uh, the specs, please, Elliot. Thank you. Um, it's also got the presser foot adjustment, uh, adjustment. So if you are working with fabrics that have got uh, a heavier pile, like maybe a velvet, uh, you don't want to crush it, 
you can adjust the the the, uh, the pressure foot. Not that you need to very often. Um, you've extra, you've got that extra high press of foot position. So if you're doing bulky layers, if you're doing quilts and things, obviously you've got the lift here, but it will go even higher for for your thick layers or quilts to go through. Brilliant. Um, it also has an extension table included. Brilliant. These are all things that you wouldn't expect to see um, on machines less than a thousand pounds from my experience. Um, it, it's something that would normally be at an extra cost. You've also got the stitch reference charts which I'll show you. It's got a start stop button on the front so you can use it with or without a, a foot pedal. It's got the reverse. It's got your auto lock so it's got your locking stitch. It's got your needle up down. So if you are pivoting and you want to make sure you keep your needle down, Neil was using that earlier. Um, your snips, as I said, which is brilliant. It's got the automatic uh, speed controller. So you can actually slow down whilst you're sewing as you're coming to a corner and you need to do some intricate sewing towards a sleeve maybe on dressmaking, brilliant. Here, these are like your speed dial buttons. So you navigate through your stitches in tens with the one arrow and then it, the, in ones, of course, on the other. Um, it will automatically default to its recommended stitch width and stitch length. And it will tell you what foot is recommended for that stitch. So it's saying here, I think the F foot is your satin stitch foot, but it does say on your foot which one it is. So it's brilliant. It's really easy to navigate through. You press C, you can go back to the start. It's also got a straight stitch there. It's got a zigzag set for you, an overcasting stitch, and it's even got a button hole as a speed, as a sort of a speed dial button. I talked earlier about the memory. So you can actually do a stitch sequence. These are all your stitch cards at the side. It's got a great selection of utility stitches and buttonholes here. It's got quilting stitches, applique stitches, loads of stitches on there. Um, Hannah said, I've got an Elna machine. She says she absolutely loves it. She said, I bought it when we were in the previous life of sewing quarter. Uh, so this was a few years ago now. Hannah said, I paid more than this price, this machine, and hers is actually, um, uh, I don't know disrespect to Hannah's machine, but it's, it's lower spec. It hasn't got as many stitches. It hasn't got all, it, it doesn't have an extension table that comes with it. Does it have a, a thread cutter? No, no. Does it have an alphabet? No. Does it have a memory? No. Does it, oh, she said it doesn't have a start stop. She says it, it wasn't something that she actually thought of that she wanted. But when you want to do quick jobs, it's great that you don't have to look around for your, your foot pedal, especially if it's a machine that you don't have set up all the time. Like, for example, now, I've just whipped this round to the other desk and I just want to show you all of this without plugging in the foot pedal. Don't get me wrong, if you're used to using a foot pedal and you want to, you can. If you unplug it, um, you can use that start-stop button, which is brilliant for quick sewing. Absolutely brilliant. And for anybody who might, you know, struggle with, um, with using their feet, for children who can't reach the floor, there's lots of different reasons for using the start-stop button. But like Hannah, even if it's not necessarily one of your priorities now, even if you think, well, uh, you know what, I'm used to using scissors next to my machine, these little things are game changers that you'll probably think, you know what, I don't know how I lived so long without them. Also for Hannah, she's saying this spec of machine was perfect, but she's all, she says, I've always grown up with a sewing machine in the house. Um, and the machine that she inherited was from her mom, which was over 30 years old. It wasn't computerized and it had kind of reached, yeah, the end of it, it, its life really. She, she's saying it would cost more to have got its service than it was worth. Um, so it's worth sort of upgrading it. She got her machine, think it was going to last and be that machine that was always in her house, which it will be, but also get one maybe that um, you're not gonna necessarily grow out of in a few years. If you want those extra things for how much more it costs, brilliant value for somebody who doesn't necessarily sew every day um, and needs to put it away. Hannah's saying, I'm definitely created. I definitely want a sewing machine in my house. Um, I think this is perfect for that. I also know a lot of people who have the machines that cost 1,600, 1,700, over 2,000 pounds and have this as a second machine for family to use, to have in their holiday home, to take to a caravan or, you know, uh, go on holiday with as it's portable. There is a reason why there is 
why we don't come on air and bring you a machine at 50 pounds. Don't get me wrong. Yes, you can go to a, a supermarket and buy a machine very affordably. There's a reason why we choose to not bring them on air. If that is the, if that is where you are on your journey, then that is where you are on your journey. But we want people to be able to achieve the results that the you know without it jumping over the desk with a name that you can trust with a money back remember you have got that um that security of knowing that you've got the 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 warranty with elna you've got a brand that's been there for over 80 years you you've got a company a call center in the uk that you can call both elna and ours we've got the split pay option to make it more accessible for you and it means that you can do the quilts that Delphine's bringing you. You can have a go at the dressmaking patterns that Mark Francis brings you. You're not limited with these machines, which is brilliant. Also, if you do want to get a walking foot in the future, you can contact Elna and you can purchase a walking foot. If you want to have a go at free motion, you can then add a free motion foot. A lot of more affordable machines, once you've got the bits for it, that's it. You can't then grow with it, whereas these you can. Um, also, I wanted to mention the different modes. So you go through the modes by clicking mode here. You see mode two is highlighted. And these are the ones that I was using. Um, just in the sew along there. So you've got lots of decorative stitches and you've also got pictorial stitches. Now it's not an embroidery machine, but look, you've got a boat, you've got a car, you've got your sewing related ones, you've got hearts, the end ones are locking stitch, you've got bows, you've got flowers, really beautiful stitches. And it's really easy to create a memory. So you select which stitch you want. I'm just gonna say that one, I don't even know what it is. Click memory and then you go to the next one. Um, and uh, and go through whichever one you want and then press memory again and it will select however many stitches, I think it's up to 10 in a row and it will repeat that, um, which is amazing a facility to have, isn't it? The other machines in this range, the 550 and the 560, don't have the memory function. The difference is they don't also have um, as many stitches, but they are, Principally the same machine inside and then the same machine in, in size. But paying that little bit extra means that you get all of these amazing different specs. So you're saying, hang on, you mentioned it's got an alphabet. Now, I remember when we first got this machine in and we were a little bit confused. If you have the manual, which it will come with a really great manual, the back of the manual, it will tell you, see this last setting, mode A with a little um, asterisk there. You go to that bottom one, sorry, one, two, three, here. This is now mode one, mode two, and then this is our alphabet. So now it's selected to the alphabet, so you can also do monogramming. This is what is in your manual. Um, it's got also the, the different symbols as well. And I'm not sure what the, the, the mode A with the asterisk is, which it's a different alphabet, isn't it, a foreign alphabet. So if you've got um, a, a name with someone who's, who's got a French name, for example, you can do the different anybody who's got an asterisk above the letter maybe, then you can use that as well. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Anyway, just wanted to mention, very, very limited now. I think we've got, did you say 16? Oh, in fact, less than that, people are checking out. Remember, it is available four-way split pay. So we're making it accessible for Christmas. Uh, it's coming directly from Elna, um, but it still is under our postage and packaging of £3.95 all day long. Had a lovely message come in from Carol. Hi, Carol. Uh, she says, hello, as a wheelchair user, foot pedals uh, useless to start, stop is a must for me. Yeah, Carol, good point. I mean, it is something that a lot of us don't necessarily think of straight away, but it's brilliant that we know we can do it. And actually, start, stop buttons don't necessarily come in on machines of this price area. They're normally on the higher spec machines, the more expensive machines, aren't they, Carol? So it is brilliant that you've got the start stop button. Thank you for that. Also, the screen, as I've got it on, you can see, once I've got certain stitches on here, it tells me what foot to put on. So it says here, an F foot, which is brilliant because that's an alphabet, you see, I'm on the alphabet selection. So that means this needle is gonna be able to swing across. Um, these are all the feet that come of standards. All of the feet that come in here are also labeled. So for example, you don't always use necessarily a blind hem foot, do you? But it's good to the machine. Oh, that's Bream Erin. <laughs> that's a giraffe. 
Coming up at Yarn Lane, you don't get the giraffe, unfortunately. You can buy that at 12 o'clock. But Elliot just wanted to show everybody the giraffe, obviously. Um, and just in case you thought that you were imagining things, yes, there was a giraffe on screen. Um, but these are all the feet that you're getting. Blind 10 foot, quarter of an inch foot, over edge foot, satin stitch, standard foot. But the machine will tell you which one you need for the stitches you've selected. So there's no guesswork. You're not thinking, oh, am I going to break a needle because I've put the wrong foot on? It will tell you which foot you need for the job brilliant plus you've also got all of those other bits and bobs that come with it including your hardcover extension table extra seams extra bobbins use the correct bobbins for your machine stick with the same brand is always the rule um, and we're at just 639 pounds okay just thought we'd let you know it's now very very limited love the 570a also becoming limited i haven't even spoken about it yet 11 o'clock We've got a brand new free spirit quilt. It's behind me and it is beautiful. It's already limited on stock. How cool is that? It is literally like I want to sit on it and sing a whole new world. A whole new world. It is the magic carpet quilt. It's absolutely beautiful. And the um, I just love the ladies. Look at this. <gasps> it's coming up with Delphine at 11 o'clock. Um, isn't it amazing? Already going on pre-order. You can get ahead at sewingstreets.com. Reserve your place. Thank you for all of your messages. Right. Bags and baskets book. Let's have a look. Oh, we, <laughs> me and Hannah are a bit addicted to a certain program at the moment with Stacey Solomon. Have you watched it? It's called Sort Your Life Out. And did you see the one with the lady who loved crafting and they did her the craft room? I was crying. <gasps> You are, you're not really a fan. No, this was like week two, week... Hannah, you, and you call yourself a fan, top fan. Um, anyway, we, <laughs> we absolutely love storage. So instead of buying, you know, big plastic boxes, why not make yourself some lovely eco-friendly fabrics that you've got, uh, baskets using the fabrics you've got in your stash. Upcycle, we use really into sustainability obviously and this is designed with using jelly rolls in mind so whether you're cutting two and a half inch strips from your scraps or whether you've got a lovely designer kaif design roll or moda design roll there's some really cool basket ideas in here and bags as well um, tote bags like this using jelly rolls using two and a half inch strips lunch boxes that's a casserole container Obviously, when you're carrying your casserole or your, your um, yeah, uh, going to families at Christmas. I love it when people bring me food at Christmas. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a, it's a nice thing to be given, isn't it, as a gift, is here you go. I've made you some meals that you can put in the freezer. Um, <laughs> um, or maybe you're going for Boxing Day and you've made a, a lovely curry. Oh, did anybody watch? There was um, the brilliant chef, th um, this lady, she made um, a turkey curry using cooked curry that was left over from Christmas Day. Oh my word, it looked delicious. And I thought, right, I'm going to try that Boxing Day. But I always think that's so nice, isn't it? If you're going to someone's house Boxing Day to take a casserole or take something over, good idea. Lucy with the family, or we do miniature dinner. What do you mean? They do miniature things. Oh, hang on. Is this something to do with your obsession with the borrowers? They call it miniature dinner, so they all bring like mini sausages, mini Yorkshire puddings. Everybody brings something miniature. Um, Hannah's not invited to her friend Lucy's miniature Christmas dinner, but she's really intrigued by it because Hannah went to the school where the borrowers was based on, was written or filmed or something. I don't know the story, but she loves the borrowers. So she's always intrigued in little things or really big things. <laughs> Fabric basket. How did we go on to that? How do we always revert back to food? I don't know. But I love these. Uh, is this an Annie's quilting? Yeah, you can tell because it's really well sort of spaced out. It's got really lovely templates, clear diagrams and photographs and a lot for your money. Um, just £7.99. Oh, that's a nice one, isn't it? You could put all your wool stash for your knitting, couldn't you, in there? Leftover pre-cut strips. Oh yeah, look, if you're into knitting, use this for perfect for your yarn and your needles wherever you go. 
Um, also, I'm not going to lie, you may have noticed we've done some clearance events recently. Um, we have done a clearance. The thing is, I know a lot of you bought a lot of fabric. One that you either need to store or two that, yeah, you're ready to use. Rather than buying more clear plastic boxes, making yourself um, lovely baskets and boxes. These are lovely. That's nice, isn't it? That's going to look really lovely. Just so you know, there are only 10 of these left. Oh, I love that. That's a nice bag, isn't it? I think we're all on the organisation vibes at the minute, aren't we? We're all on the organisation vi vibes. Um, good morning, Christine. Nice to see you again. I've just come in from work, switched on the TV. I said, ooh, magic carpet. That's a stunning quilt, isn't it? It's free spirit, beautiful, beautiful fabric. It's coming up with Delphine at 11 o'clock. Oh, very close to my face. Um, it's just seven, seven ninety nine for your book. Definitely stay tuned for eleven for Delphine. I've not seen her for ages. Okay. Plus, it does have your quilting basics as well. That is about to sell out. First time I've seen it. So, if you are after some little last minute gifts for Christmas, they're not. They're here. I've got the mug mats. Um, so I did a show with Sally Ann the other day. If you're watching, hello, Sally Ann. She made us these amazing mug mats, which are so quick and easy. And for anybody who's starting quilting, it's perfect. I have got KVYV30, please. So this one is your, well, you use your two and a half inch strips again. So it comes with your instructions and your batting. Now, these lines on here is literally like colouring in as you go with fabric. So these lines here are actually your placement lines and then you stitch with a quarter of an inch as normal. No question is a silly question, Christine. Can I ask a silly question about the 5 cent TA? I've bought the Horn Ascensions table and have insert marks 570. Will it, uh, will it still fit? Only difference is the al is for the alphabet. Oh, the 5 cent and the 5 cent TA. Yeah, I... I would talk to Horn if I were you, just in case. But I think, because they do all the measurements, but I think you're right. It's, I think it's exactly the same body as the machine. It's just the alphabet that's different. But I would speak to Horn if I were you, Christine. Um, they have lists of their measurements, of, of exactly the difference in measurements. But um, no, no, no such silly thing as a silly question. So this one comes with three place mats, enough to be able to do three mug mats. And they're really nice size mug mats. They are... The finished size is eight and a half by ten and a half inches. So they're really nice to be able to fit a nice big cup of coffee and also some bickies or a mince pie on the side. Going back to food again, I've eaten way too many mince pies this year. Have you? We gave our next door neighbour a hand with um, a dining room table lifting it and um, they brought round all these homemade mince pies. I ate them all, all of them in about two days. Two days, probably a dozen. Mince pies. Uh, let me open this up so you can see exactly what you get here. Um, and it is an 80-20, really lovely, soft batting. Now, whether it be something that you're just using your stash or whether you've got a lovely design roll and you want to practice your quilting, you literally layer up so you have your background fabric. Make sure you've got the right colour in your bobbin because you will see the quilting straight away. It's a really quick project. And it's nice to be able to practice your binding with this actually as well, isn't it? So you have three different designs, they're all numbered. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, um, and so on and so forth. So it goes around, these are your placement lines. You place your fabric, you stitch along. It is as easy as that. It does come with all of your instructions included. And the great thing about June Taylor, if you're new to quilting, they've got incredible instructional videos on YouTube. So it's all um, really easy to follow. Three different designs. And it will be done literally in an hour or two. You'll be able to, to finish, bind all of your little mug mats ready for Christmas. It's always a bit of a lull on Boxing Day or, or Christmas Day afternoon after you've had your dinner. So it's nice to sit down and, and do a nice little project like this. This is why I bought the solitaire game. Yes, say Hannah, because you are that person. She says, I like to escape away on Christmas Day and do something on my own as well. So you're the person, when I say, oh, let's play a board game now, and Hannah's like, I'm going to escape away on my own. I'm going to go and do something on my own. 
see ya. <laughs> but no, if you are like Hannah and you want to do that, then these are nice projects that you can just do. But you've got three there, so you could also have a couple of your family members. Let's all do a mug mat together. And then you remember Christmas, you could do embroidery on it. You could personalise it with fancy stitches. It's nice doing a sew along, isn't it? I really enjoyed having Neil here to, to sew along with today. Um, we also have the other one, which is your log cabins. So log cabins are probably one of the most traditional um, blocks, aren't they? So if you are learning, this is one that you're going to come across again and again, which is brilliant. Sorry, I'm just going to fold this a bit better. They are the same size, but the photo on the website, one of them, I think, was taken in the distance. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Can I see it? <laughs> oh, okay, they're the same size, don't worry. It's not a miniature packet. The other one you could have taken to Lucy's house for the miniature dinner. <laughs> They will be the same size. I'm not sure why they've been taken so far away. Anyway, that one looks correct on the web. This one's lovely, isn't it? Imagine using the new uh, Riley Blake fabrics that we managed to discount today. The Ian Special, we're going to call it, 34.99 one. These would look lovely. Ready for spring. Sorry. All the rustling. Just putting this one back. Um, £10.99. I've, this was my second attempt of trying to fold it nice and neatly. Oh, she's here! You're early, really early, Delphine. Uh, Delphine's on with us at 11 o'clock. She can come and join us if she wants and do a sew along. We could have her in the gift hour. We can't give her away in the gift hour, but if she wants to be sitting with us on the gift hour, it'd be nice to have a chat. She, she, yeah, she hasn't, she hasn't replied to me. Hello, Hello you're right. Yes, we could get her on on the gifts hour is what I'm suggesting and she can talk through some nice gifts ideas with us. Still tumbleweed going through the studio. Maybe she doesn't want to. Maybe she wants to have a breakfast. £10.99, your quilt as you go, mug mats. Brilliant. Do you want to do the la 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 fabric? No, which one? You did put this right in front of me and we talked about it a lot this morning because this is a brilliant rainbow bundle of fabric. You are saving £5.99. Uh, now, we thought we had quite a good quantity, Hannah's saying, but we don't. By the time we've actually got to it, there's only five left. We had um, a lot of these. Lots of you have spotted it on um, pre-order. Look at all these lovely colours and it's this nice texture. What's the, the range called? Melange, so you can see you've got melange. Uh, I think they're not both melange, are they? So this one's more of like that spray mottle effect. You've got the mottle, 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 melange. I think Stoff have actually called them both melange, but um, they're, can you see it's got like a mottle effect. That's not just a solid black. That's not just a solid gray. It's got texture to it. And then this one is almost like a linen look. It's the melange. Um, you've got different shades of, of red. You've got the different shades of blue. Do you know, this is like, I'm going to call this again, like your two-tone bundle. So you've got your two different ochre sort of yellows, your two different greens, you've got your two different blues, two different reds, you've got three, four different purples, or the two, I'm going to put those two the, together here, and then these two, two different tans, um, you've got a lovely grey there, you've got a deep blue, another grey and a black, all of those £101 and 83 pence. If you do want to start the new year with a new stash of fabric, this is going to keep you going for a long time, isn't it? Even for things like cushioned backs, for linings of bags, for things like um, your placemats, your quilt as you go, for bindings, just to add a bit of depth and texture instead of just using solids, these are really lovely. Saving £5.99 so you do get half a metre for free. Nine metres of gorgeous quilt weight fabric. We started the show with 11, we're down to five. Okay, so do make sure you take advantage of that. That's really good value. Now, yeah, that's going to be perfect as a stash builder for the new year. Okay. 
I've got 505 and I've got 404. So 505 is probably one of the fastest selling products we have here at Sewing Street. It comes in and it sells out. Um, Wendy Orlando, are you watching? I know she buys these in bulk. Um, it isn't necessarily for quilts. There's a lot of different of our sewers that come in and use 505 for, for lots of different projects. It's a temporary adhesive spray. So if you are just after a temporary hold of something, then this is brilliant. So much quicker than basting a quilt by hand, obviously, um, or using safety pins. It does give you that really nice hold, but it is designed to be used with fabric and then it will obviously wash out as well. Just use it in a, a well-ventilated ven room and you spray it onto the water don't soak your fabric now it says here you can use it also with tissue paper you can use it obviously obviously with your your fabrics you can use it with denim you can use it with felt with ribbon with non uh, with stabilizers basically and with patterns it doesn't damage your fabric so for example if you're doing a dressmaking pattern and you've got you know the I don't want to use the word flimsy but thinner uh, dressmaking pattern paper if you want to put that onto your fabric and you just spray it down, it's not going to damage the fabric that you're dressmaking. If you don't want to pin your patterns down or you haven't got pattern weights, this would be really quick and easy to just put them down as you're cutting because then it does just wash off. It doesn't gunk up your needle when you're stitching either. Um, I love that sort of fabric for e uh, FPP design, she says Jan Hill. Oh yeah, I do love these different textures for FPP. They look great, they do. I've seen some beautiful Victoria Peet designs with those. In fact, there is an FPP book, isn't there, that we have. We haven't got it today. You can do ice creams. There's um, really beautiful Joe Carter designs in there, actually. And that bundle would be perfect for it. You're right, Jan. 7 dollars 5 5 in stock. If you know somebody who does a lot of uh, quilt making, this would be a brilliant stocking filler. Brilliant stocking filler. It's just, Hannah says, in stock. Just about. Okay, it's going to sell out. If you want it, it's there. Might be the last time to get it um, this year. I don't know when we're, we're going to be able to get any more. It is something that we'll get on restock, but can you believe what I'm saying? This year. Can't believe it. 404 is available as well, but we are going to show you the planning paper. So maybe you are thinking ahead, new year, new projects. Maybe you can't get into the sewing room because it's also a spare room, someone's coming to stay. Or maybe, like me, you sew on the dining room table and it is going to be officially in use over Christmas. Maybe get planning. So it's really lovely graph paper. You get good square paper as well. So you can draw literally out your quilt blocks, design your own quilt designs. Maybe you've been working from patterns and you're now ready to have a go at designing your own. Maybe you want to do a quilt and you want to do uh, an activity with your family. So you say, right, you design the quilt block and then each family member will colour it in and do a different colour idea and then you pick your favourite. Do it as a bit of an audition, right, you all get to choose. You all get, I'm going to draw out the block four times, everybody gets a block, colour it in and then whoever wins, you have to make it up in those colours. <gasps> four bells, 99. That's really good, isn't it? And it's an, you get 30 sheets on there as well. They're 12 inch blocks, so it's always perfect to do a 12 inch block. And in fact, actually, can you see how you've got those bold markings? So that's an eight inch block there. And then this is a four inch block. They're all inch squares. And then each of these, I'm guessing is a um, oh, quarter of an inch, obviously. So you've got your quarter of an inch squares, uh, all designed with quilters in mind. It's specialized for this. Fun so easy, just £4.99. Easy to tear out as well, the next page. Perfect, 25 sheets, sorry, did I say 30? 25 sheets in there for £4.99. Um, really good value for money as well. Really good value for money, isn't it? Especially if you're opening your order today already, if you've paid your P&P, &P, add to your order. Fab. Right, we also have... Yeah. Pam and Nikki Lintop book. I love the Pam and Nikki Lintop books. Uh, I know lots of us, of course, have got uh, fat quarters. All the storage fat quarter bags have gone. So I'm presuming lots of you have got fat quarters. 
But how are you going to use your fat quarters? Don't get me wrong, they look lovely in your storage bag, but get using them. Uh, Pam and Nikki Lintot are fantastic at designing quilts from pre-cuts. Very, very famous for their design roll quilts and now brought out a book using fat quarters. They're based in Cornwall. Obviously, lots of their photography is by the sea and it's just beautiful. You've got 12 really clever quilt designs in here. Simple stars. Free size, freestyle fancy, hearts and crosses. That's lovely, isn't it? Using fat quarters, um, colour play. Oh, that would be nice in your new bundle. This would be really lovely in the um, melange, wouldn't it? And you would be able to make loads. That would be perfect. You'll still have loads of fabric left over. And look, it's really, really, really clear instructions as always. Um, Hidden butterflies, hidden butterflies. Ah, very nice. You've got the crazy hourglass. That'd look amazing in cave, wouldn't it? Again with the melange. Falling leaves, there's some really beautiful designs in here. It's brand new to me. That's clever, isn't it? Having the darker colours on the outside, it gives you that three dimensional feel. Very clever indeed, just £19.99, pence. octagon stars and this one's got a really lovely twist to it. Can you see it's sort of overlapping on your triangles so it gives, it gives it movement. This is what I mean about clever designs, they're not just the standard blocks that you see in every book. Um, they've come up with the new original uh, fantastic ideas. That one again, that looks so cool, let's see what it looks like finished. Don't you just love the photography as well? Oh look! Tula Pink, Curiouser and Curiouser range with Alice in the middle. That's so cool. That middle panel actually. Maybe you've got the, um, the Bird of the Month panel or did we do a Cat of the Month did you say? No, there's not. There's a Cat of the Month panel. Oh my word, I wasn't in that day. But you could do a Cat in the Centre, couldn't you? Oh, that'd be brilliant. I wasn't in that day for the last nine months, apparently. Oh, no, I'm never here on Cat of the Month Day. I I've obviously not watched either on Cat of the Month Day. What's that day? A Monday? Cat of the Month? I did not know we were doing that. I watch all the time. How have I missed Cat of the Month? That's something that I would have thought I'd have heard of. It is on the website if you want it. Oh, also, Pam and Nikki Lintot do um, really, they're big advocates of creative grids. So if you've got any really cool creative grid rulers as well, it will talk to you about different creative grids that might be useful. So it's also like having a bit of a masterclass with certain tools and rulers as well, um, which is great. But it does give you lots of fantastic tips on binding and borders, finishing your quilts, backing your quilts. And there's a little bit about them both. Um, but it's brilliant, isn't it? Oh, that's cool. The Quilt Room 40th Anniversary. Lots of lovely, um, lots of lovely articles in there as well to read. So just 19.99. That would again make a lovely Christmas gift. Oh, treat yourself. Treat yourself. 12 clever quilt patterns to, made, to be made from fat quarters or long quarters. Brilliant. Well done, well done, well done. <laughs> Bunderweb. I mentioned the word Delphine. And of course, whenever we normally say Delphine, quite quickly after that, we'll say Bunderweb. <laughs> Because, uh, well, Delphine isn't using it today, so this would have been put in her hour. We actually have it in stock on a roll. We we're going to put it in the gifting hour because it's always so popular. I know Bonder Web sounds weird as a gift, but how useful would this be as a gift? Anybody that does lots of applique, I'm sure would be thrilled with a bond of five metres of Bonder Web as a gift. It's one of those gifts that you think, Do you know what, I'd actually really appreciate that. This year... I don't know whether it was because of the year that we had last year, but I was having this conversation with Kieran yesterday that I think, I think we've all changed our mindsets a bit about Christmas and what we gift at Christmas. And I'm guilty of it. Sometimes I'll buy things for the sake of it for, for somebody. And actually, I'd much prefer to receive something that I'm going to use and that is useful. It's me watching this um, Stacey Solomon programme 
Is it useful? Is it has it got a purpose? Do you love it? Does it bring you joy? Whereas this is all of those things. Uh, Twenty nine ninety nine. Don't get me wrong. You don't see it. It completely. It's it. It obviously adheres to your fabric. It's used in applique, but it's a really great product. Um, and, and if you are a lover of Delphine's applique projects, then you get through a lot of this. Twenty three ninety nine for five meters of your bond web. There's other projects, uh, products out there that are similar, but we've always found that the, um, the Bond Web from Visaline is the best. Just wanted to let you know that we actually have it in stock, which is brilliant. <laughs> we actually have it in stock. I know that sounds ridiculous, but the amount of times that I come on it and we've got an applique project and I say, oh, we're gonna need Bond Web, and the producer says in my ear, oh, sorry, it's out of stock, it's out of stock. I know, and we've always got it on reorder, but it's gutting, so it's definitely worth, even though we haven't got an applique project with Delphine today, it's worth getting it in whilst it's in stock. What's that, please, Elliot? Oh, right, did you get the cat quilt? There's a cat quilt! I've missed all of these feline friend projects. Was it Delphine's? I heard it sold out within minutes, so I missed that as well. Um, if you've got the cat quilt, then absolutely get this one. Watch this. You can scan the QR code. If you just get the um, your phone and hover your camera over the top of this QR code, it will take you straight to our Watch Live page, which is brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. Morning, Vix. Um, right, it is being demonstrated, Pam, at... 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock, you've not missed it yet, it's on pre-order, isn't it beautiful? I just love this central kaleidoscope sort of effect to it, and when you look closely, the fabrics are so beautiful, you've got these beautiful dancing ladies, I say dancing, they're not necessarily dancing, but they're just stunning, aren't they? Beautiful, really, really beautiful colours. I do love the lady. These are jellyfish. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing more and more. Every time I look at it, I see something different. You've got like jellyfish here. Can you see? That's amazing, isn't it? Really amazing. Uh, her fabric is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Thank you, Pam. And the way it's cut, um, we've got images from some of the, the cutting guides, actually. Um, if you see the hexagon here, in the instructions, there's great cutting guides, exactly to think about the fussy cutting because that's where you get this kaleidoscope illusion and also you're making the most of the fabric at the same time. It's really, really clever indeed. Uh, I wouldn't say that this is, ne this is, this is for someone who maybe has done a bit of, of quilting before, an adventurous beginner, this would be brilliant. It really talks you through fussy cutting. So some of you who's familiar with the machine, oh my word, it will open up a whole new um, world for you when it comes to fussy cutting. You're not just using the fabric willy-nilly, you can use, you can really think about it and be quite strategic, planning. And with this particular magic carpet quilt, it is all about that symmetry, isn't it? It's all about that pattern placement. The quality with Free Spirit as well. You can see, if you've not heard of Odile's fabric before, you can see Free Spirit, they work with Kafe, with Tula Pink. You can see these beautiful colours. It's always gorgeous quality fabric. I think Free Spirit really are always at the forefront of bringing you the top designers as well. It's amazing. If you've not worked, if you've not seen Odile's fabric before, definitely stay tuned. Pam's excited. Okay, well done. It is on pre-order. If you do want to um, shop ahead, go to our web page. Loads of you are doing that. Lots of you are. Right, where are we going next? Useful things, Hannah's saying. Yeah, I do. So are you thinking, if we've got scraps, we're doing sorting through, if you've got any bits of wadding, you actually don't need to worry about having wadding that's all joined up. You could actually take them together and, uh, and use them as one big piece. So it's not bulky. You can use this um, as a, a, a one normal piece of, of, of of wadding anyway. So you can use this obviously for a number of things. I remember my mom always turning up my school trousers with this. <laughs> you can use this as like um, 
uh, a bonding tape for turning up hems. And all that you do is you lay the tape in the middle along, uh, along the hem and then press with an iron. Just £7.99. If you are putting together two pieces of wadding, then this is perfect. Wadding's expensive as well, isn't it? So don't throw away bits of wadding. This is perfect. Um, just £7.99. Oh, congratulations, Christine. She says, I finally got to meet baby Sophia. Oh, my word. I'm so pleased that she's doing so well. She's now weighing over £10 because she was tiny, tiny, wasn't she? Yeah, tiny, tiny. She's over £10 now. She says, I'll send you pictures via email. Oh, yes, please. We'd love to see. Oh, I'm so pleased you got to see her. Honestly, it's crazy how quick they grow, isn't it? Especially, you know, a baby that was so, so tiny. Oh, but it's lovely. Um, right, £7.99 for your heat press batting tape. Tell you what, that £7.99 is going to save you throwing away or buying new, isn't it? This is what Kieran was saying as we were watching the uh, Stacey Solomon programme yesterday. He says, this is why, Vic, if you keep yourself organised, you know what you've got and it'll actually save you money in the long run because you don't need to keep, um, <laughs> yeah, you don't need to keep buying. No, it was Kieran. He was like, see, this is what I always tell you. If you actually put the cowpole or if you actually put something in the right place, then you know where it is. You're not needing to buy again. Oh, we get through a lot of cowpole. Teething eight-month-old baby. <laughs> but I'll always say, we've run out. I need to get some more cowpole. He was like, I'm sure we bought some the other day. I'm like, I don't know where I've put it and I need some more now. So actually, if you had a bit of a... Yeah, if you do actually have yourself a system, you'll, you'll be able to save a lot of money with your waddings. Right. <laughs> Talking about systems, I've got a small stand. If you want to organise your work room, if you want to organise your craft room, if you've been watching that programme that we were talking about, they had the most beautiful. If you haven't, watch it, because it's really good. You get some great organisational tips. But this, oh, you need to watch the one with the lady with the craft room. I started crying. I just imagined her as like one of our viewers. I thought, oh, I wonder if she knows us and she has the most amazing craft room now and I know how much that means to us all. <laughs> Having space to sew. But if you are lucky enough to have your own sewing space, why not put your spools out instead of being in a drawer where you think, do you know what, I've ran out of white again. I can't find any white thread. You can put them all out. You can see exactly what you've got. You know when you're going to need to, to, um, to replenish your stock. And it looks nice, doesn't it? It's a lovely beech wood um, stand. It can also be hung on the wall. It doesn't necessarily, I'll show you. So it doesn't need, if you haven't got the space to have it out on a desk, it's fine. You could um, obviously pull the legs out and it will sit on, a, on, the, um, on the table. But also you can actually use these obviously to, to put some drawing pins or screws in the wall and hang it up. And that would look lovely, wouldn't it? That would look really lovely in your workroom to have them all, I would put them all in colour order, rainbow order. 25 spools, £7.99. pence. Hello, Nikita, working from home, uh, Sewing Street on bagels, fruit salad, uh, salad, salad, um, and coffee demolished. Sun is shining, happy Friday. Oh, honestly, we're, we're coffee, bacon rolls, mince pies, everything this morning. It's all going on. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Merry Christmas. Hang on. Is this Stacey Solomon? It's Stacey. Hi, Vix. Friday off. Fry up for brunch. Dressing gown. Hot chocolate at the ready. Bliss. Is this Stacey Solomon watching? Oh, we're a big fan. Hannah's wearing your trainers. Hannah is wearing your trainers. She always keeps top trumping me with that when I keep telling her how much I love that program. She's like, yeah, but you're not wearing her trainers, are you? Um, right, so that's your Millwood spool holder. Lots of people getting in touch with us telling me all their food, all their breakfasts and treats. Getting jealous. <laughs> right, we've got a quilter starter pack. It's got the... For anybody who's always wanted to get into sewing, we all have those friends that when you make something, they always say, ah, oh, I want to come along to one of your classes or I want to start sewing, I want to get involved. What about this as a present? Under £20, bearing in mind you could pay £20 just for a cutting mat. You could pay £20 just for a ruler. Uh, same again, you can pay £20 for a rotary cutter. 
For £20, you're getting an A3 cutting mat, which is double-sided. You've got a quilter's ruler and you've got your rotary cutter. The colours may vary. Um, it is something that I've got purple and I've got grey. I think there was also a green cutting mat, wasn't there? Uh, but it is double-sided. You've got your centimetres and you've also got your inches. So metric or imperial. It's self-healing, really lovely quality cutting mat. And also... It's a nice ruler actually, isn't it? Maybe you need one for a mobile home or fingers crossed going um, to workshops and crafting um, classes. Then this is a nice one to be able to take on the move because they're a little bit more compact. This one is a great, great ruler actually. It's got all of your different angles. Quite often I heard Susie Duncan saying the other day with a medallion quilt, you need a ruler with a 60 degree angle. This one's got a 60, a 45 and a 30 degree angle on, plus obviously all your markings across. We have a price comparison. Now, it's not a di direct price comparison, but it's something similar that you can pay um, a lot more for these types of starter kits. So a starter quilting kit, obviously, you're going to need a rotary cutter, a ruler, and uh, a rotary cutter. So these are, are quite standard. But obviously not direct. Including VAT, it's £40.99. Different brands. The rulers are slightly different size, but look, same principle. You, you're going to need a rotary cutter, a mat, and a ruler to get started with your quilting, aren't you? So this is a perfect bundle, and it's 19.99. So brilliant value, half the price really, isn't it? Of what we were looking at of a similar, a similar bundle elsewhere. And it's still lovely in quality. I mean, you've still got a, a really lovely acrylic ruler there, so it's nice and solid. Um, a self-healing cutting mat and your 45 millimeter rotary cutter with, um, with the safety catch, of course. Now, not another direct comparison, this is a different brand. Now, they've reduced there, so it was 43.59. You're getting the same size cutting mat, the same size ruler, and a 45 millimeter rotary cutter. So, very similar, different brand. 43 pound 59, reduced down to 33.99 in time for Christmas. Um, whereas ours is already even better than that. Uh, and ours isn't reduced. There you go, 19.99, fab price. You may want one of those different brands, but these are offering the same same products, um, same size products for $19.99. Good one to get started with. Or as I said, as a second one. You might have a larger cutting mat at home, but you don't need a larger cutting mat all the time for smaller projects. Now, single figures. That is very, very, very popular indeed. How is it 10 o'clock already? Um, we have got don't forget a few chances still remaining on the big bundle of fabric you've got nine meters now there's only three of these remaining we started with a lot of these we're struggling to put these big bundles together due to the fact that obviously everything is coming in at different times different colors sell out different rates so to be able to have all of these different colors um, we all we all know at the moment, obviously, getting things into the country is proving a bit difficult. So it's um, to be able to time all of these coming in at the same time is obviously near enough impossible. So if you do want the bundle of all of the colours, we are offering you a saving and split pay. £50 and £91. That's over, a uh, over nine, meet well, nine metres of fabric, which is from Stoff. It's really lovely quality quilting fabric. Three of those remaining, I think they'll go in the break. They are here, they are cut, they are ready to go to you. You don't need to wait for these. They will come straight to you after you've made that first payment of £50.91. In time for Christmas. Still guaranteeing delivery in time for Christmas. I'm really amazed that, I, I don't want to put a date on it, but we've still got a few more days that you can shop with confidence no one will get it to you. We're, our team are amazing, really, really amazing, working around the clock, making sure that they're working obviously safely, but also very efficiently to get all of your, your fabrics to you in time. Okay, we've got more gifts coming up. We're going to um, leave you to check out. There's still a few chances on those. Have a look back through the website and don't forget one hour away before we've got Delphine joining us with this brand new quilt. Stay exactly where you are. I'm back with more Christmas gift ideas after this.
Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting, and of course applique, which is my favorite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hello, I'm Sam from Adventures in Crafting. Wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hi, it's Yvonne from Village Fabrics here. I can't believe that another year has just flown by. I just want to take the opportunity to wish you the happiest of Christmas and a really healthy 2022. So, happy Christmas from our Christmas room, which is here all year round. So, happy Christmas! Hi everyone, it's me, Jules Mayu, wishing you a fantastic, fun, festive season. Let's hope we'll have a raring good time this year sending you lots of warm hugs from me and Lola. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting and of course applique, which is my favourite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433.
hello, welcome back, welcome back. Um, right, we've got one hour. In fact, actually, Delphine's here in the building. She was just having a chat, so she might come on and have a cup of tea with me and talk through some gifts, if that's okay with everybody. And then she's going to be demonstrating at 11 o'clock, of course, the amazing quilt, which is already selling on pre-order. Now, we've already put the graphics live because I was on with Karen herself, who invented Seams, the founder of Seams, hand cream. And um, we had over 100 of them. They all sold out before she even came to air, like days before she came to air. I, I must hold my hands up and, and apologise for that. It was myself and Kat that noticed they were in stock and just uh, took them all. I have, I shouldn't really say this because there might be people who are watching, but I have bought this for quite a few of my friends and family this year. Um, because I think this, well, the last couple of years now, it feels, the last 18 months or so, we've all, our hands have taken a bit of a battering, haven't they? One from the cold, the cold weather, all of the different antibacterial um, hand gels that have been used. If you go into some of the shops, gosh, they can be really abrasive. And I've found my hands have really, really struggled through the pandemic. My nails, the, uh, the skin, they can be sore. If you're doing hand stitching, which I know through lockdown, lots of people got into as well. Again, your hands can be in ruins. And this is exactly why Karen invented this, this hand cream was because she was actually on a milliner's course uh, making hats. And she said to the, the, um, the fashion teacher, uh, what hand creams do you use? And they said, you know what? We haven't found one. We have not found one. Now, I absolutely love this. One, because it feels so luxurious. It absorbs instantly, as it says on the front there. It doesn't leave your hands feeling greasy. Lots of hand creams. I don't know why they do this, but they just seem to sit on the surface of your hands. Whereas this, I'm putting loads on today. And I mean, you don't need much at all, but I just I love the smell of it. It smells so lovely. And it, it, it penetrates into your skin as opposed to just sitting, um, as opposed to just sitting on the surface. It absorbs beautifully. It smells beautiful. If you are sewing whilst you're using this hand cream, it isn't going to leave your hands greasy that you're going to transfer onto your fabrics. Um, it's so, so beautifully soft. And I was always told by my mom that you can tell somebody's aid by their hands. Our hands are, so it's important that you look after your hands. They are the tools of our trade, aren't they? Whilst we're sewing, it's important. So it's really, really nice to give yourself a good massage. Now, the ingredients here, are plentiful. You've got so many ingredients which are designed. All of them are listed on the back of the pack um, and they're all in there for a reason. So I just want to make you aware that there is macadamia nut oil in there just in case you have a, a nut allergy but they all have different reasons. So it says on the box here it helps to moisturize, it helps to hydrate and protect, to nourish and restore, to strengthen your nails, to soothe and smooth, to even skin tone and as I said the scent, it's not overly floral, it's not overly medical. Well, it's not medical at all, or floral. It's, I know that Karen said she had in her mind, before she started designing it, she wanted it to smell almost like talc, talcum powder, you know, that lovely fresh, baby fresh smell. And it is absolutely gorgeous. So this isn't just for sewers. It does, it was designed with sewers in mind, but actually this has gone further. I know that she has, the Dancing on Ice is just about to start, isn't it? And she has a lot of, it's backstage there. She has it um, in the fashion industry. Obviously this is brilliant for anybody who um, has been working on the front line and obviously washing their hands still constantly will mean that you just have really can get really really sore hands and tired hands so it's brilliant absolutely brilliant and the price point of it at 13.99 i think is fantastic bearing in mind uh i've bought luxury hand creams in the past obviously being uh, on the telly and doing the job that i've done for for so many years uh, loads of people have bought me hand creams in the past and i must say really expensive ones i've tried lots of brands i'm not going to name names but majority of them as i've said that have been over 20 pounds have sat on the surface of my hand left them greasy left them sticky uh, not soaked in uh, uh, and not given me the benefits that i've had that i have seen from seams now i'm not saying this is my personal experience i'm not saying that this is designed to be it's not a medical cream that's designed to cure eczema or anything but i have found um, personally that it has really really helped with eczema that I suffered with on my hands um, so I, I can't recommend it enough I know there was a lady who actually messaged in last time Karen was on air and she said that she had 
quite severe uh, eczema on the top of her um, by her eyebrows, her eyelids. And she put a tiny bit of this on and she said that it, it cleared up. So she said, um, she asked Karen if she was going to be doing a face care range. So hopefully we're going to be seeing more and more from seams. But we are very, very proud to bring this on. And when we started Sewing Street, there was a very small group of us who used to be um, at Sewing Quarter. And we all put our heads together and said, "Why? what brands do we want to make sure we definitely bring on air here? And Seams was certainly one of them, top of the list. So that's your hand cream. Um, are you still here, Hannah? <laughs> 75, it's all right. 75 mil is is a really good size as well. It's got a 12 month shelf life on and it will last. I um, I love it. It says, let seams help restore your hard working hands. Uh, I, I got some for Kieran. He, um, he's a tradesman. So his hands are horrendous. I'm not gonna lie. They've got calluses. They're, I, <laughs> we've got it. Did John Scott tell you all that I've got it in my downstairs bathroom? He came over and I know that he said on air. I was like, stop telling all my secrets, telling everybody. But um, yeah, I'm pleased that he did notice because it's, it is lovely to just have one, maybe by the, the kitchen sink after you've done the washing up. It's nice to just put a bit of hand cream on before bed, one in my handbag. I do love the hand, hand cream. In fact, this one belongs in the gallery. Uh, we have got some FIFO reviews. So FIFO is an independent reviewer. After you've made your purchase, um, you'll receive an email and be asked to leave a review. Please do leave a review because it's brilliant. It means you don't need to take my word for it. I must say, we have a lot of FIFA reviews. Look at this, Lucy, it is lovely. So soft, it is. So silky soft, Lucy. Now these are all people who have bought the item. Really good hand cream. It doesn't leave any greasy residue, residue and it smells divine too. Janet, it is gorgeous. Linda's just messaged in. She said this hand cream, sorry, she hasn't messaged in, she's done a FIFO review. Uh, this hand cream is the best I've ever used. She says I've used a multitude of hand cream. Thank you, Seams, for it. Brilliant. Thank you, Linda. Uh, review from Crafter. Top quality item, exactly as described. Second time buying this product. This is it. Now we're getting it back in stock. There's a lot of people who are... Uh, who are buying for the second, the third, the fourth time. This is Davinia. Uh, present for a friend who loves it. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It's the perfect time of year to be purchased this. And don't forget, it is in time for Christmas. It is in time for Christmas. Talking of time of year, very good product. I always suffer with sore hands in the winter. This hand cream works very well. We're going from the warm to suddenly really cold. You go into shops or you go in, in the house and you're going from cold to warm. You get into the car. It does crack your skin on your hands, doesn't it? Oh, it honestly, it makes your hands feel so much better. I Do you ever give yourself a little hand massage? It's the nicest thing ever. It's so nice. I'm doing it right now and it's so nice. <laughs> your hands, you don't realise how tired your hands can get. Excellent service, excellent product. Really pleased with the results, says Carol. Thank you in Bristol for leaving your review. Um, can't recommend it enough. That shea butter, the rosehip oil and that lovely soft amber cocoon scent. Love it. Um, Oh, go for it. Honestly, Christine, I can't recommend it enough. Can't recommend it enough. Just but I hate hand creams. I always find it's greasy and it gets onto the fabric. But I'm going to treat myself and my gorgeous hubby to try some for Christmas as he has very sore, hard-working hands. Honestly, yes, Christine, brilliant. Can't recommend it enough. Keep one of them in the car, maybe. Um, keep one, as I say, downstairs loo. After you've... Have you had to scrape your eyes this year? It's not been that cold, has it, yet? It will happen. Kat says, <laughs> I mean, Kat says, I don't even own a car. I've never scraped the ice in my life. But I've seen people having to do it. And she says, I imagine it's going to be cold enough soon to be able to have to de-ice your car. I suppose we get up very early in the morning, don't we? So, yeah, maybe you do have to. Okay, that was yours, Hannah. Mustn't forget. Now, we've got some really beautiful gifts as well. So, we've got a gift set um, that has got... Oh, this is a great one because this has got your quilting gloves. It's got hand sanitizer. It's also got hand cream and it's got the nail file. So these aren't just gloves because I thought when I first saw this, I thought this was, these were gloves that you put on as a treatment. You put your, uh, like soak your hand cream in and then leave them overnight. But actually, no, they're hand, they're quilting gloves. They're sewing gloves. Absolutely brilliant. So you get those. You also get 
your large size. Normally when you buy gift sets like this, they can be really mini sizes, can't they? Like the travel sizes, but these are full size products. So you've also got the antibacterial hand gel, which um, Karen said she actually designed before this was this was all coming out before even the pandemic hit so we this has become a, an everyday essential for us hasn't it and i must say again like the hand cream we've all tried lots of different hand sanitizers and once again i've bought more expensive ones because i made the mistake of buying really cheap nasty ones at the start of the pandemic and they were, they smelled like really strong alcohol. They were really greasy. They were sticky. They just slided off your hands straight away. You know the ones we've all experienced them. Whereas this is almost like a jelly. Um, it it soaks in. It feels really luxurious on your hands. It's a bit of a treat actually every time you um, you put it on. So this is again. It still kills ninety nine point nine nine percent of bacteria. It also has other benefits. It isn't just your antibacterial hand gel. It also is most moisturising. So after obviously still protecting your hands, um, it's it's still moisture. It's also um, moisturising as well. It has that soft amber cocoon scent, exactly the same as the hand cream. So you do get this. You also get one of the last seams files. So I know that um, Karen had loads and loads of these made. She says it was the last of these now. So you get a, uh, um, you do get the the nail file. What else have I got in here? The full size hand cream as well full size hand cream and a really lovely bag. I know that Karen was saying she actually uses this as a clutch bag on her holidays. It's a really lovely colour and she gets lots of compliments on it. So it's a plush lined, fully lined travel bag as well. So if you were to break this down in terms of price, how much is our um, hand cream normally? $13.99. And then you say the hand cream is, um, is that £10? I can't remember how much the hand sanitizer is. Sorry, I don't mean hand cream, I mean hand sanitizer. So your hand cream, your hand sanitizer, um, $4.99. Are you adding this up, um, Elliot? So that comes to what? <laughs> oh gosh, he's got his abacus out. Anyway, we did this the other day when Karen was here and I feel like you were getting the bag for free. It was really, really good value. Um, and the, the bag is really, really beautiful as well. It all comes in your gift bag, ready to, um, ready to gift. You can keep, keep some of it for yourself. Do you ever do that? Do you buy like a gift set and then take something out for yourself? <laughs> or end up keeping it? I end up starting using it thinking, oh, do you know what? I'm going to have to keep this one now. I've used it. Well, this is why yesterday on Jewelry Maker we had this gemstone solitaire board. I bought one. I was sat on the phone to the customer service team last night, and I said, "Can I have? Can I have one of them?" And then I thought, "Oh, do you know what? I'll get two. And then I thought, "I'm going to be so jealous when you're playing it on Christmas Day, and I'm going to want one for myself." So I ended up buying three. <gasps> but you do do that, don't you? Because otherwise, you would end up just um, you would end up just keeping it yourself. Right. This one, you get your hand cream. You get your leather. Retractable tape measure. What have you got on your screen? Yeah. And your hand cream and the bag all for £29.99. Now the retractable tape measure is normally £10. <gasps> Julie! She says, I already was using the seams, but then I won the kit you're showing in Sewing Street competition. How, what do you think, Julie? It's gorgeous, isn't it? It is gorgeous. Oh, right, okay. Do you know what happened? This was Karen last week. She said, as a thank you for everybody at Sewing Street for supporting, obviously, it's her business over the, the, um, the, the last year or so. She also said to make sure everybody is extra protected, she's thrown in another free gift, which is another hand sanitizer. So whether you want to give this to somebody else to try out or keep one in the car, I always have one in my handbag, in the car, one by the front door. You could always get one of those little pouches that we had earlier on or make yourself a little pouch face mask and hand sanitizer. That's a lovely Christmas gift, isn't it? Um, and that one's a freebie. So there you go, 29.99. Uh, spread the word about Seams because they're a fantastic company and growing and growing and growing. Have a look on our YouTube channel if you want to hear more 
from Karen about the products because she goes through all of the um, ins and outs of why she put every single ingredient in there. It's brilliant. And as I said, it is more like a jelly than a uh, some of the hand sanitizers that are just so slippy or so greasy. It's not sticky in any way at all. It smells beautiful as well. 99.99% of bacteria is killed <laughs> when using it as well. So super duper safe. 29.99. Thank you, Hannah. She just bought me a lovely cup of tea. Oh, thanks, Kate, in the office. Uh, Christine, she said, got two, uh, got two and two hand sanitizers. Perfect gift for him, as he always says he doesn't want anything and he gives me so much. Oh, see, that's so lovely, isn't it? It's always difficult to buy for gents. And actually, they're, they're using their hands all the time as well, depending on different people's professions and jobs. We're constantly using our hands as sewers. Um, yeah, anybody who's a tradesman or, you know, working hard, then yeah. Yeah, it's, it's important, isn't it? I don't know. Absolutely love it. The tape measure is pure luxury, says Julie. Let me show it to you. So it's a retractable one. <laughs> I don't know how much of it I, you know, I can really show you, but it is a luxury one. You're right. It's got the seams um, name printed onto it. It's got that lovely tape measure with the leather tab. And... It's not one of those, it's, I think even if you're, a, if you're a sewer, obviously we measure things all the time, but just to have in your handbag, you know when you're out shopping and you think, oh, I just need to measure that, just to see whether it'll fit at home or, I'm always looking for a tape measure. John Scott always loses his, doesn't he? That'd be a lovely gift for somebody as well. Yeah. Just ask him. Twenty nine ninety nine, and you do get, remember, with this bundle, your free hand sanitizer. So you get two hand sanitizers, uh, tape measure, uh, hand cream, and the luxury gift bag. I was saying, Hannah, earlier on, do you know when you buy a gift set like this, they are normally travel sizes, aren't they? They're like little testers almost that come in a bag. Um, I bought a... Oh, I, don't, I, should, I don't know if I should name names, but um, I bought a lovely one from Clarins. My mum uses lots of Clarins products. And I bought some, and they were, I was really disappointed I opened the bag and they were smaller sizes. But these are great because they're full sizes. Right, that is your Seams travel, um, travel bag gift set. Not travel um, sizes, though. <laughs> full sizes, travel bag. Don't need to take your miniature products to the miniature party at Lucy's. <laughs> the miniature Christmas dinners. I thought, oh, that sounds rubbish, doesn't it? What, what's good about a miniature Christmas dinner? The whole point of a Christmas dinner is you eat way too much and everything's oversized. Here's, uh, if, here's a little mini Christmas pigs in bl blanket or a little mini Christmas pudding. I'd be like, bring me more food. Right, we have got the sanitizer um, uh, as a bundle of two. You do save 99p if you're getting two. And let's face it, we're always going to need it. We're always still going to use it. Karen said, even, you know, fingers crossed, after all of this madness is over, we're all still going to be using hand sanitizer, aren't we? £8.99. 99.9% .9 of bacteria um, killed when obviously using um, your hand sanitizer. £8.99. £8.99. <laughs> Two bottles of skims. Just say to him, say Vic got a great offer on um, the solitaire yesterday. So, sorry, they're uh, um, potentially going across the jewel maker this afternoon. So I was just asked... Uh, Elliot, would he ask Kieran if he's going to be back home to have Maisie later? And he says, well, I need to have a Christmas present early. So I've, I've said I've got um, a solitaire board. Oh, I love this solitaire board. Can you tell? £8.99 for your two. We also have them individually, but I just thought I'd let you know that if you're buying two, then you save 99 pay. Um, <laughs> this sanitizer on its own. Have you got one of these open? Let's see if I can find one open because I want to show you the texture of it. Oh, there is one in the gallery. Yes, please. No. <laughs> Thank you. So, this is um, 
the texture of it and it's like you just need a little pea size amount you don't need oh, that's probably even too much but can you see there's like a droplet it's literally like a jelly and it is instantly absorbing again it's not leaving my hands sticky it's not leaving my hands greasy in fact it feels so soft and once again it smells like the hand cream oh it's really lovely really lovely um, it's still got alcohol in it so it's still going to to um, kill off viruses but it is um, still smelling like that lovely amber soft cocoon which is gorgeous um, what did you say four pounds 99 for the um, for the hand sanitizer amazing right Hannah where should we go next are they all of our seams products yes it's all right, no. <laughs> I've got some cave bits as well. I've got some cave magnets. I've not even seen these before. These are gorgeous. Dreaming in colour, it says. I can't open it because there's not many of them and this will be one of the Christmas gifts. Um, it's a little magnetic uh, needle tin as well. It's, it, it comes and then it also has a little magnets inside that is so cute right there's only five of these left 11 pounds 99 and i don't know when we're going to be able to get them again all different cave designs on there and it has got the magnetic needle tin included all for 11.99 okay we've also got by the way a special guest in the studio. I said to Delphine, I've not seen her for so, so long. She's only here for one hour today. So she's got a cup of tea. I said, we're doing a nice gift Hello. hour. So we're talking gifts. How are you? Oh, I'm not bad. Are you all ready for Christmas? Uh, do you know what? I'm not far off. Good, yeah, good, you? good. Um, there's always a few bits and bobs at the end that I do a little bit of panic buying. Yeah. So hours like this are perfect, aren't they? For anybody like you and me who's, who's really still looking around for, for some bits and bobs, then this is the perfect hour. And actually, the fact that we're still guaranteeing delivery for Christmas is brilliant, isn't it? So yeah, if you've got any questions for Delphine, get them in. How about your quilt, by the oh, way? It's stunning, isn't it? It's beautiful. Have you worked with this designer before? Have you no, seen this fabric? never, never. And um. Yeah, I'm going to definitely be investing in a few of these. Gosh, that's beautiful. Gorgeous. It's when I opened gorgeous. up that box and all that fabric, I was like, oh. And it's all about fussy cutting, isn't it? Yeah, and it, and even there's even a plique in there as well. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realise. So nice. It's, it, it's not your normal quilt. No, it's it, not. That's, why I, that's what I love about it, because it's got piecing, a plique, fussy cutting. It is, it is stunning. So, yeah. Oh, gonna, love it. I'm looking forward to doing that. A nice skill builder to go into the new year, isn't oh, it? Oh, yes. So, Delphine. Oh, you might have missed this earlier on. So, did you see my sew along a little bit this morning? A little bit when I was putting my face on this morning. <laughs> so, this morning, we had Neil on for an hour. And he gave us a little parting gift, which was this. Now, he can't take all the credit for this because this was actually Ian, who um, is one of our buying team, and he came on to do a manager special. He was supposed to take it £10 low, which would have taken it to 39 99 This was originally 49 99 He took £15 off. And it's the gorgeous Riley Blake Sonnet Dusk collection, all of your 10-inch squares, 42 pieces. Am I allowed to open this? Let's open it and have a look. Oh, everyone's saying hello, Delphi. Oh, hello. So, I mean, 10 inch charm squares yep. are really useful. Oh, and they, they go a long way as well, a real long way, yeah. I, I remember talking to Stuart and he said, I think it's probably the most versatile pre cut, actually. Oh, definitely. Like you said, it can because you. You're never going to, in quilting, you're never going to be using anything that size. So you're always going to be cutting it down. You can go through loads of different projects. The so fussy cutting on that as well. Yeah, yeah. But you get so. the, still get the larger scale of prints. Yep. You don't lose anything, do you, with these? Just so you know. Oh, I don't think you've seen this collection either, have you? It's pretty no. new. No. I think we've uh, literally had it in once. And then Ian came along and reduced it. I don't know whether he was allowed to pick whatever he wanted. Ooh, or that is lovely. Yeah, isn't it? beautiful. We said it reminded us of, you know, the shop jewels. Like yeah, very country. It is very jewels, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, the floral prints, they're lovely. And I like the stripes as mm. well. $34.99. Today it is a £15 saving. Don't get me wrong, we have got the, um, the other pre cuts, but this is the only one that we were able to reduce. It's $34.99 in time for Christmas. And I must say, it is gorgeous quality. You've got, uh, of course, your quilting weight cotton, beautiful quality, 
all for £34.99, 42 piece charm pack, less than £35. I mean, look at that, every single one of them. Aren't they lovely? The spots as well. Yeah, this was, um, this was our pick earlier on. We just wanted to make sure, basically, what happened on air last week was it got reduced, but it wouldn't physically do it on screen. It wouldn't show the price. So everybody who bought it, don't worry, you got it at the price because um, we authorised it with the customer service team, but we weren't able to do it on air. We're able to drop it now. Uh, it does. I think it does make a difference, doesn't it, when you actually physically see the price on air. And I know if anybody who potentially had it on mute or had it on quieter or newer to us, then you, maybe you didn't understand it actually went £15 lower. So you can make the most of that today on screen at £34.99 or, of course, on the web. It's really lovely. Love the colours. It's a really nice colour palette, isn't it? Very nice, very nice. Right. Shall we do the smaller sizes? I won't open this one um, because it's the same prints that you've just seen, but this time in the five inch. So I'm rubbish at maths, really bad. But so this is four times the amount. Is that right? Yeah. And you're getting 42 pieces in there still. So four times the amount even with the reduced price, I mean, it would cost you more. I, this is such good value for money, isn't it? Fifteen ninety nine. Mm. I always think it's brilliant value mm. for money. What would you use the smaller packs for? Oh, any of my projects. <laughs> so even with the yeah. uh, applique, you could stitch them together if it's a larger template. Yeah, couldn't yeah. You? Well, that's why uh, one of the best. Well, that's the best thing I love about charm packs because all the work's done for you, isn't it? So you just take a load of cut, load, load of them, cut them all into strips, make one big. Uh, piece of fabric and then using templates or applique and then you just uh, cut out the templates and use that and it looks like you've spent ages piecing all those little bits yeah. together but you've not you've just cheated what about so. cathedral window i love a cathedral window but with those something like that i'd go with a solid okay and then use those for the centers yes oh yeah really, so it's almost like you're putting a frame around each piece oh and before we saw mm. you could do some lovely fussy cutting mm. couldn't you mm. on the flowers or, or uh, this is lovely Oh, thank you ever so much. Uh, uh, Rowland's just said, guys, you are the best program after my night shift with heart eye emoji. Thank you. She says, I'm tired, but I've got to watch. I might fall asleep. Oh, no, we'll keep you awake. We'll keep you awake. Look at this quilt we've got coming up at 11. It is on pre-order, by the way, and it's already selling very, very well. Well, she says, I might watch the... Uh, yeah, she says, well, I'll catch up if I miss any later on. Thank you. Hope everybody's keeping well anyway. I hope everybody's... Um, well, I'm ready for Christmas. Mm. Are you doing the cooking? Do you do the cooking oh, in your yes. house? Oh, yeah. Nobody goes in the kitchen apart from me. Yeah. I love, I love, I love cooking. It's just a, it's just a big roast dinner, isn't it? With a few pigs and blankets thrown in. It is. <laughs> it is a bit of a glorified I, roast dinner, isn't it? Oh, I, I'm going to do all my prep Christmas Eve. And I'm, I'm very prepared this and year. And are you having yeah. anyone over Christmas? Yep. The in-laws. In-laws oh, and oh. Um, Nick's brother. Oh, nice. Yeah, so they're all coming up. So yeah, really, really so lovely. exciting with the kids. Yeah, the boys it? especially. They're just so excited. Louis, he, 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 won't, he, won't, he won't go to sleep last night. I walked past his bedroom and he's just lying there. And he was like, will Santa see me when, I, when, I, when he comes home? And I was like, no, I said, you've got to make sure he's fast asleep. Yeah. Otherwise, he's not going to come in. He's not going to come in my bedroom, is he, mummy? I was like, no, you're fine. He's not <laughs> <laughs> Love him. He's Aww. so beautiful. And have you still got yeah. a naughty elf in your house? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You've got to have your naughty elf. I've seen this have one seen being ours? a bit naughty, isn't it? <laughs> Hang it upside down. Oh. He's, 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 he's got a mask on. <laughs> yeah, he's got his mask on. It's yeah, so cute. staying safe. Speaking of cooking and recipes, do you know what I love about this book? Because this is all about mindfulness. And I think sewing is brilliant for that, mm -hmm. isn't it? But also cooking is brilliant for that. Well, in, in some cases, I'm... I find it very stressful cooking. I'm not a very good um, baker, so it, I find it stressful. But do you know what I love about Jules? Yes, I'm, I do like making banana bread. But in here, you've got some really lovely patterns and you've got full recipes in here Ooh. as well. So it goes through the seasons. It's a brilliant book. Sewing for the Soul, it's called. Uh, simple patterns and recipes to lift your spirits. So Jules Fallon is obviously fantastic mm. dressmaker she actually taught mark francis to sew really yeah he went yeah. on one of her her workshops that's how he got into sewing so it goes through all of the different months so spring start your year with a lovely shirt dress it shows you how to your layout pattern diagrams think about how much you pay per pattern 
Think about how much you pay for your recipe books. This is brilliant. T-shirts. And the things that you actually use, you know, and wear in your wardrobe. They're real patterns for real women, aren't they? These are T-shirts that you'd wear every day through the spring. A, a wardrobe builder. Uh, great gifts for people as well. Oh, Cara would love this as well because mm. look, embroidery on it. The size range goes right up to a UK size 24, which is brilliant as well. Great size range. Oh, um, yum. Yes. <laughs> then we get to the chocolate orange cake and a homemade mocha latte. How do you make a homemade mocha latte? Oh, we can find out in the book. You have to buy the book. The summer. Oh, right. So who was it that I saw? I think it was Adam Brooks. And he was saying that he saw Jules at, it might have been Ali Pali, one of the, uh, the, the shows recently. And he said, I saw the Palazzo pants there and they're beautiful. He says mm. the seams at the top, like there's really, really lovely detail in those pleats at the top there. And they're gorgeous, aren't they? So you've got your palazzo pants. You've also got in here a, a bit of shearing on your summer top. So you're going to be learning lots of lovely techniques as well through the book, as well as enjoying lots of cake along the way, treating yourself to some lemon drizzle and elderflower cordial. Autumn projects. All of your patterns are on really lovely pattern paper at the back. But it is a really lovely book, isn't it? Classic T-shirts. Blankets as well, so it's not just necessarily um, dressmaking. You've also got some accessories. I feel like there's a Christmas stocking in here for you, Hannah. Yeah, there you go. Is this the one you've made? Hannah has made her boyfriend um, with his initials on, oh, on the front. Oh, bless her. Have you got any pictures? Yeah, send in a picture, Hannah, <laughs> so we can see it. What do you mean? <laughs> Oh, he texts her saying, I love you, but you're a loser. Oh, that's not <laughs> I think that's really lovely. <laughs> I've got, do you know, it's so funny. I've got um, a stocking, which somebody made when we were at Sewing Quarter, and it had an H on it. And they said, oh, you can have it. And I was like, oh, well, I don't know anybody beginning with H. And I've realised my sister-in-law is Hannah. Her name's Hannah. And I've been, me and Kieran have literally been sitting there saying, who do we know with the name H that I can use this um, Christmas stocking for? You're not a loser. That, I think that's so lovely. You watch next year, he'll be making you one. She says, I've made... Oh, so she's made herself her own one anyway, but he doesn't understand yet that he needs to fill it with treats, chocolates and sweets and things. Oh, I always had in my stocking um, tangerines. Always, yeah. Uh, chocolate yeah. money. Yeah. Does Santa still leave tangerines and chocolate money? I don't know. Yeah. Chocolate okay. pennies, yeah, yeah, still a thing. And a chocolate orange. Chocolate orange. Terry's oh. chocolate orange. Yeah. You've got to have it's one of those every year. Well, that's it. I, I never chocolate. really eat Terry's chocolate orange any oh. other time of year. But at Christmas. After eight, J2O's, they're Twiglets, <laughs> they're always just reserved for Christmas, aren't they? Um, 29 99 for your sewing for the soul, uh, Jules Fallon book. And it is really lovely. It's got pyjamas in there. It's got some really great projects. <gasps> is that Sophia? I oh, know you said not to mention it yet. Sorry, I'm really bad at ignoring things that come on my previous screen. Can I show it, Christine? Is this lovely, Christine? Christine, so baby Sophia was born and she was really teeny tiny and she's now, look at her, big and strong. Oh, she's over 10 pounds. She's gorgeous. Oh, she's Christine, cool. I bet you're so proud. I met Christine in uh, the Festival of Quilts. Such, such a sweetheart of a lady as oh. well. Oh, bless her. Oh, she's getting hand, she's making headband sewing for us so she can put her hearing aids on. Oh, that is so adorable. Oh, Christine, you're amazing. Uh, yeah, Maisie was always in a headband. <laughs> she likes a headband, doesn't she, Maisie? She does like a headband. Not as much anymore. She will oh. pull them off now. But um, I think it's because I probably did a bit of overkill in the first few months where I was like, oh, she's got to wear a headband. That's a little uh, trademark, though, isn't it, a headband? It is. <laughs> I went to a first birthday party, our friend's first birthday party the other day with John Scott. And I put her in a big tutu, big red tutu. First thing we did when we walked to the door, John Scott, over everybody, like there was a lot of people there, over everyone, what on earth have you put her in? <laughs> and I said, it's a, pity, it's a tutu, it's Christmas. And he, and he was like, oh, Vic, what have you put her in? That's awful, get her out that tutu. And I said, you can't, have, it's the, when you've got a girl, it's the best thing, isn't it, to put them in silly <laughs> things. I know, John Scott, anyway. Um, I've got some more magnets. So we had the cave ones. Um, I've also got some other fridge magnets. So I've got some sewing related ones. 
These are sewing men's soul. And we were talking about uh, mindfulness. These are really nice little gifts, aren't they? Sewing men's the soul is the first one. We've also got a vintage sewing pattern um, design as well. They're only £3.49, so if you've bought something from us already, it's just one of those I'd just add to your order. Nice little stocking filler. Are you doing the Secret Santa here? No. You're not involved in hear, it? No, I didn't, didn't know about that. Oh, no, I, I don't know whether um, it was guest designers are included. I'm not sure if no. it's just off the staff. <laughs> To be fair, I think organisation of people coming in before Christmas, because yeah. everybody's working from home yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, I've noticed in the kitchen we were going to have a little Christmas tea and now that's not going to happen. Obviously, everyone's working from home. So I did just say to Neil, does that mean that we get to share it all out today and take all the goodies home? But um, I think we'll share it all out together. <laughs> £3.49 for your sewing men's the soul pattern. And it is a fridge magnet look. It is a fridge magnet, or I suppose, have you got one of those trolleys at home? One of your organisation trolleys for your sewing room? You could put this in your sewing room, couldn't you? £3.49. Or if you've got chalkboard paint, have you seen that you can get magnetised? Magnet, magnet paint, yeah, it's cool, isn't it? That's really cool. Mm. We're a bit addicted to a certain programme that's on at the moment with Stacey Solomon. Yes organizing things yeah. have you watched it i've seen bits of it oh it's yeah. so good so <laughs> so good it's really satisfying there were a few things i thought oh that's a bit peculiar like she organized um, a makeup drawer with an you know like a grill oven tray thing mm. oven you you put it in and then it creates another drawer within your drawer that you can put mascaras and lipsticks and things in. And I thought, oh no, that's I, I don't I don't really want to put my oven, oven no. grill in my <laughs> bedroom no, no it's a bit random, <laughs> it's strange isn't it? But there were some really good organisation ones in there. And one of them was putting chalkboard paint on the inside of your cupboards. So you can write lists. You could do that in your sewing room, couldn't you? With to-do lists or things that you need to buy. And if you get a magnet one, then you can put your nice sewing magnets as well. You can get good magnet idea. paint for your eyes, can't you? Can you, know, your eyes. you? You know, eye, fake eyelashes. But you, that's a magnet paint, isn't it? Oh. Have you seen those? You could like, put like black, mag uh, and then, and then the... Uh, They've got a magnet in the adverts, on. they make that look really yeah. easy, don't but they? But in reality, no. Yeah, I tried I, it once, I didn't bother in the end. I oh, to I bet it's a bit fiddly, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I have heard about them, but I've not tried them. I don't know if it's a bit of a faff. But yeah. I think the magnet paint, it seems like that works. But, but just but on your eyes, it seems a bit scary. <laughs> um, we also do have the small, the, uh, I say smaller, it's not smaller at all. It's the dresses, which is lovely, isn't it? If you do just want to get a couple of these to go in. Stockings. Have you got a picture of your stocking yet, Tanner? I thought that's what you were sending in. We really want to see it. It's got an F for Steph, who's um, Hannah's boyfriend. No, it's really lovely. Did you make it this year? <laughs> Two pounds and 99. She said, yes, it was this year. I, was, I wasn't with him last year, so that would have been creepy if I'd have just made it with his name on. Just waiting for the day. £2.99. And it is again your magnet. Simplicity vintage magnet. £2.99. That's how is that even lower? I don't know. I don't know. That could be like me and Delphine, you and your friend. £2.99. So I told you all about this um, warrior strong fitness that Delphine forced me onto where I'm still thinking she has a personal vendetta against me. When are you coming back? You're in the video. Have you seen the video? That's what I was going to say. <laughs> she looks amazing. Video. Oh my gosh, I do not. I you, saw the video You're running of it. like this and she's got really cool like plaits going down. I had to because Delphine, yeah. you, if you put a ponytail, <laughs> if De Delphine puts her hair up, she turns into a different person. She's literally like, <laughs> um, who was it? That, what did we say? We gave you a nickname and I can't remember what it is now. Oh. Um, it was nice, I promise. <laughs> Don't <laughs> know, right? We did have a punch bag, but honestly, the way she was going at me in the boxer well, size. You know, it was <laughs> we did have fun, actually. Oh, it was so fun. When are you fun. coming back? Um, I'd love to come back in the new year, actually. Yeah, I would. Yeah. I've joined your gym. Are you still oh, doing? Yeah, on Monday mornings. Um, I've joined. There you I'm go. coming. You come in Monday. Yeah, I've joined the gym. So um, I've said it on telly now, so I've got to come to your class. Monday morning, you're not working. Are I you? did talk to Naomi on the front desk, and she said to me that you were doing it still. Yeah, Because yeah. I did look at the... Um, but I haven't, I haven't seen you for so long. So oh no, I've been avoiding your up. classes. <laughs> um, right, where are we going next, Hannah? 
my lap tray. Okay, so whether you're doing hand sewing, a um, bit of sociable sewing in front of the telly, this is a really lovely one to be able to maybe even sit and do in your cutting, preparing bits yeah, and bobs. Yeah, yeah. Or just um, eating your tea. Yeah. <laughs> I have one for eating my tea on my lap, actually. $27.99. And it's a fancy one, isn't it? It's really posh, isn't it? Though? Your William Morris print. It has got that extra raised lip. So if you are doing anything like beading or hand sewing, embroidery, then um, yeah, that's brilliant. Or just any little bits of crafting. I know that Kerry living in loveliness is lovely bauble. You could mm. sit and do in front of the telly. Handy to have a nice lap tray, isn't it? This would be a nice gift for somebody. Mm. This would be a lovely gift for somebody, actually, wouldn't it? Yeah, this is what I was saying. It has got the lip on the end. So if you're doing anything that's going to roll to the edge, then it's not going to be falling off. If you are doing the, the, the bauble that's got lots of pins in, then this is perfect for that. £27, £99 would be a lovely gift idea for somebody. We have lots of little William Morris bits and bobs actually underneath us on the web. I don't know how much we're going to be able to get through, but we have got I the matching that, yeah. glasses cases. They're lovely, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Because when you buy a pair yeah. of glasses, they always come in just plain, quite plain, boring yeah, ones. Yeah. And sometimes, um, even if you're thinking like sunglasses or anything like that, they can come in soft cases, can't they? Where you're, you're ending up bashing or breaking your glasses, whereas these are lovely and they're really soft. They're like a brushed mm. cotton, so they're very plush. And they come with a matching cloth as well. All eleven ninety nine. Eleven pounds ninety nine for you, William Morris. And I think for anybody who loves fabric, or even if you you're not um, a, a necessarily a, a, a big follower of designer fabric, we all recognise William Morris. Don't yeah, we? everywhere. It's beautiful. Really, it's, it's wondering which one to choose though, because they're all so lovely. The strawberry feed. There's also um, what's the other one called? I've not um, seaweed. There's a couple of designs. Strawberry Thief, I think, is my favourite, if I'm honest. We'll do that one next. Uh, Gary's here watching, so shh. Oh, OK, sorry. We will not give away anything. We're talking about Christmas gifts. Um, I have got the Strawberry Thief. The reds. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? That's iconic William Morris print, isn't it? Oh, I saw... Yeah. Um, some lovely cushions in a big department store called John Lewis. <laughs> and um, yeah, the, the cushions, I think it was over Black Friday weekend actually, so they were reduced, but I think they were still 50, 60 pounds really each. Really expensive, yeah, really expensive. Yeah, I think they started about 75 and they were, they're beautiful. It's the, and it's always this print that's our favourite. Mm. People who don't know um, sewing still know that this is quite a lot of money to buy yeah. this sort of print. You mm. can buy um, wallpaper, can't you, in this print? Mm -hmm. Very expensive. £11.99 for your glasses case and you get your microfiber cloth as well. Really good value. Honestly, they, these are always very, very popular. Hence why we wanted to put them into our gift hour. You are still guaranteed delivery in time for Christmas. So for anybody who's doing a mad little bit of last minute shopping, go for it. Just £11.99. You've already got prezzies under your tree. Oh, this is Hannah's Christmas tree. So she's made a lovely stocking oh. for her boyfriend with an S on it. That's really good. How did you do the S? Have you applied around it? Oh, it's an iron-on patch. Looks good. You could have got away with that, Hannah. You could have said that was a plique. Yeah, it's lovely. It's a gold iron-on patch. She said I can't do lettering very easily. Oh. But you could do a plique, Dick. Yeah. Yeah. It looks lovely though. What have you got in there? It looks packed. I don't know. Sweets, beer, and what are all your presents underneath? Who are they for? They're his presents for you. Spoiler, Hannah, isn't he? Hannah's bought all of those presents for him as well. Oh, I love that. I hope you're going to get something nice, Hannah. Yeah, do you know what you're getting there. for Christmas, Hannah? Oh, so he's got a bit rogue. Oh, oh no, that's never good. <laughs> that's not a good sign, is it? He's got a bit rogue. And he also, they're seeing each other this weekend for Christmas, and Hannah's really annoyed that he doesn't want to, he, he wants to swap presents, but not open until Christmas. And Hannah's like, but we might as well swap and open presents now, because we're together. But he's saying, no, 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 no. I'm, I am that sort of person, to be fair. Lovely Fiona Hesford's left something in the, the, um, the dressing room for Maisie. And everyone's like, well, open it, see what it is. I'm like, no, it's Christmas. It's going to be open on Christmas and it's not mine Oh, no, anyway. I'm terrible, I am. All you the would open them. 
I what can, did you I, buy? What I, did you do the teachers, by the way? Oh, no, that's really bad, actually. I, all I did was bought a bottle of Books Fizz and a bag. Okay. But, but I did sew some uh, wine bags, but it, uh, they were for Bex. Bex oh, came yeah. round yeah. and I taught her how to sew a little gift bag. Oh, brilliant. And so she's given them to her colleagues. So I have done some Christmas sewing, it just wasn't for me. Oh. No, I just needed to do a confession about Christmas presents. Then. Go on. No, when I was saying I'm really naughty. I'm like a little kid, so I always go, you're really good and you keep them, I, I go looking. Do you? No, not anymore. I mean, I was, when I was little, I did. Oh, yeah, when I was but little, But then I we've been getting all these deliveries and I've been looking at the addresses because <laughs> I've been addressed to Nick. And yeah. I've been like, where's that come from? <laughs> and then there was this one of these boxes and I Googled it. Oh, <gasps> don't be. That's so and naughty. I, I told him and I was like, I can't see where it comes from. This unit somewhere in Derbyshire. So what's in this box? <gasps> I've been shaking it. And I don't really? Oh, I'm terrible. I'm oh, terrible. But then it ruins the surprise, doesn't it? Oh, I don't like surprises. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, do you know, well, Kieran did say to me the other day, he says, right, I've got a delivery coming. Do not look in it. And that is tempting then. It's like, well, oh, now you've said I, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have even bothered looking <laughs> at all. And he's like, do not look. But um, yeah, I've said, I'll be annoyed if you bought me anything this year. We, we bought a dining table. That was our Christmas presents to each other. <laughs> good oh, thank you. Yeah. Very good present. <laughs> oh, it was thoughtful. Should we do the paper kites? Because we were talking about the lap tray and doing some hand sewing and getting friend sewing. Like you were saying, mm. you were, you've got your friend Bex doing some sewing. This is really lovely. Um, Kat actually bought one of these. It's an EPP kit. So you can do some hand sewing. It comes with the, the lovely templates. Um, it's a Luwalth design, so they're always very popular. And if maybe you haven't got your sewing room over Christmas, I always... Um, of course, it gets banished and it has to go away. But not only do you get your paper pieces, you also get your acrylic template. Oh, I want that. Isn't this lovely? And it's a really nice wall hanging. That's lovely. You could use lots of little scraps, actually. This is a good scrap buster, yeah. isn't it? All of your instructions. Um, <laughs> if that falls off the trolley, then feel okay. free to send it okay. to me. <laughs> okay, okay. I won't tell anybody. <laughs> uh, Hannah said, doing hand sewing stops her from snacking at Christmas. She said, if I sit and do some sewing, it means I'm not eating. <laughs> I know what you mean. I, Terry's chocolate orange is always one of my five a day over Christmas. £14 for your Lou Ors paper kites. Should we do something naughty? Oh, we're not meant to. We're not meant to. We'll tell management after we've done it. It's nine ninety nine. We want everybody doing a bit of EPP over over um, over Christmas. See, we're all guilty of it, aren't we? Sitting in front of um, computers, play stations, our mobile phones. It's actually really nice to get to do yeah, something. Yeah, I really with your like hands. that. I'm definitely going to give that a go. Ten pounds as well. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking for Bex as well. Actually, she's not watching. She's at work, but. Because she's starting to do a bit of hand sewing, so... Yeah. Yeah. That's really good, isn't it? Yeah. Well, even at mates rate, you can't get it at that price. No. I, I buy her lots of bits. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, this good would one. be lovely. Mm. £9.99. We've got a message to come in. I've seen Sewing Street on every morning when I'm off, and I've learned... Uh, and I have to leave... Leave it in for my sewing... Yeah, for my husband to see to get some ideas. Oh, can I give you a tip, Kaylee? On the website, there's something called Drop a Hint. And you can... You, it comes up on the um, Today Show deals, doesn't it? And you can, no, well, on the web shop, sorry, on the web shop. So you can click on a product and you can say drop a hint and you can send an email to someone dropping a hint about something. But yeah, brilliant. So £9.99. So for example, you want to drop a hint about this one? Mm. Oh, sorry, I can't do it because it's on Today Show deals. If you want to go across the top two books, for example, click on a book. Yesterday we had this book on. Oh, I heard about your cat quilt, by the way. Drop a hint, is there? So obviously you need to log in to do it, but then you would put an email and they'll just drop a subtle hint to somebody. Uh, there's also gift cards on the website. There's lots of great gift ideas. But um, if you are thinking of a, a nice gift idea for somebody, we've just dropped the price on this one. It's £9.99. And remember, included, this was meant to be £14. That is a Hannah special. You get your acrylic template. And look, that's attention to detail because it also has your seam allowance around the edge. You've got your paper pieces, which are designed to go specifically uh, for this shape. And also... 
This paper, I was just checking to see how thick it is. It's not thin and flimsy. You could use this again. You could use this again, couldn't you? I'm just thinking of different designs you could do. You could do one in spring colours if you want to reuse it again. You could do different, um, different shapes. Look. You could do things like this, couldn't you? In different colours. Right, I don't know how long it'll be reduced for. It'll be till midnight tonight, definitely, but I don't know whether it'll come back on air ever again at that price. Also, they give you an idea of how to do it into a cushion. Mm, that's what I mean. I, I think that's really lovely little gift, that is. I want to give that a go over Christmas. I miss hand sewing. Do you do much hand sewing, Delphine? I used to, um, but now I'm all for doing it as quick as possible. So yeah. I use a machine, but I do like to, like you say, sit up in the evening doing a bit of hand sewing. Well, I know a lot of people that struggle to do um, to not do anything with their hands. They always uh, want to be doing things. Mm. So this is perfect to 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 if you're sitting uh, or you're going to a relative's and you just want to take a little mm. project with you. Yeah, exactly. That. There's always yeah. a bit of a lull on Boxing Day, yeah. isn't there? Uh, and you're not sitting away separately from your mm. family. Yeah, because I'm always in the kitchen sewing, so yeah. that'd be quite a nice thing to just sit in front of the TV. Yeah, exactly. Especially if the boys tend to watch something that I'm not really a fan of. Yeah. And I'm still there, I'm present, yeah. but <laughs> in being, but I could be Sorry, sat doing a bit of hand sewing. Yeah. Look at you to make a little shape. I know, but well, you can, you can sit and play around and, and think of new designs. Yeah, you don't yeah. need to even do the, the, the one that's on the, on the front. You can use reuse these papers, can't you? And especially at that price point, £9.99, it's worth giving it a go. Should have been £14, now less than £10. Hannah's instantly regretting that. She said, I shouldn't have done that. Um, I can. Right, now, those of you that have seen our lovely Poppy on air or watched our sister channel, Lifestyle, which is on the same channel as we are at five o'clock, um, you may have met Poppy before. And she is the ambassador of, of um, Primal Living. And they have the most amazing, affordable range of beautiful products and if you are after a gift for somebody then these are great these are your hemp hand creams which launched um, on air on the 7th on our show on the 7th of this month if you want to hear more about it Poppy is so knowledgeable absolutely brilliant ah Elliot yeah tell us about it Elliot was here um, it's 95% natural ingredients, and I know that hemp has lots of great healing properties as well. It's got cocoa um, oil in there. It's also got the shea butter, which is another really lovely healing um, ingredient. But it comes in the beautiful box. It also, we were talking about hand cream just now, and I think the last year and a half with all the different mm. antibacterial gels. Oh, it makes your hands really sore and dry, yeah. doesn't it? And yeah. hand sewing, actually. Yeah. Can take its toll on I your hands. D again, uh, when I used to do a lot of hand sewing, I used to really, the, my fingers just above my nails used to get really damaged and broken. It's a nice big tub yeah. as well, isn't it? Really nice big tub. And it smells absolutely beautiful. It looks very posh. It does look very nice, doesn't yeah. it? And it's uh, for... Hang on, for three, three for two, you are getting three of these for £17.98. That is not per hand cream. You're getting three for the price of two. So you do get um, one free, which is brilliant value. Yeah, let's have a look. So this is a couple of key points about the hand cream. So it's made with hemp seed oil, shea butter, olive oil and cocoa butter. It has no parabens and no artificial colours. I know that parabens can tend to dry out your skin. Um, if you use things like um, hair products with parabens in, it can really dry out your hair. Yeah. That's how I know about it. Hannah said, yeah, I can't use any hair products that have got um, parabens in because she said I've got naturally drier hair. So um, it's a good thing to avoid, especially to put on your skin. Rich in omega fatty acids and also all natural ingredients. Now, if you're looking at different hemp hand creams out there, um, this is how that you can pay. That's for one 50 ml tub, which is, ours are 100 ml each. So that's half the size of one of them, 24 pounds. Obviously different brand, but just a competitor example. All three of ours, 20, uh, uh, for £17.98. We've got another price comparison, in fact. Oh, a uh, customer review, sorry. Um, 
This cream is amazing. It not only absorbs very quickly by the, um, into the skin, it smells nice and also makes my hands look better. I hope you never stop making it. That's a lovely um, uh, review. And then another one, not sticky at all and a really nice smell. Gave a pot to a friend of mine. She agreed with me. Uh, there's one of these that has been put in the gallery and Hannah says, I've used it in the gallery. We were lucky we got all of the mm. little uh, hand creams. Try out all of the products and Hannah says it's lovely. She says, I also use it on the dry skin on my legs. <laughs> well, it's a big tub, isn't it? Well, you, well, you saved a present, though. That's three presents, though, isn't it? Yeah. Well, no, I'll keep one for myself. Yeah, oh, exactly. I'll give one to you as well. Thank you. <laughs> one for me, one for Bex. Yeah. And one for, um, one for, one for Delphi. Yeah, lovely. We've got a nice <laughs> message to come through. Um, not message, a review that's come through, customer review that says, I purchased this alongside the nail oil and a foot cream and I must say they're fantastic products. Um, purchased a present for my vegan niece and no, she will love it. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, perfect. Really worth thinking about for anybody who is vegan as well. Um, they're big tubs, aren't they? 100 mil in each. That's going to go a long, long way. It does have, a, I think, a 12-month yeah, shelf life once opened. So definitely keep one for yourself. And there's two gifts sorted, all for less than 20 pounds. Okay, we're coming back with the kit in just a minute. I know that we're running out of time. Very, very quickly, these sold very, very well when they were on air. It's the first time I've seen these. Um, we have got a bit of information that Poppy has left for us. So, um, how am I pronouncing this? Propose, pro, propolis. Propolis is a natural Ne Nezinous mixture produced by honeybees from substances collected by parts of plants, buds, tree sap and other botanicals. Uh, it is used as a sealant for unwanted open spaces in the hive rich of um, peno... I'm sorry, You're these are all very <laughs> scientific. Help me out here, Delphine. <laughs> Basically, what I'm getting from this is that it is a natural sealant um, for, for bees. So it contains all of these amazing properties, antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal, antioxidant, antimicrobacterial, um, anti-inflammatory as well, which is brilliant. Commonly used by many to support the immune system. Oh, I see, right. So if you struggle with allergies, I need to get one of these for Kieran then. Um, he's tried so many different puritons, different things like that, that he really struggles with or it doesn't, it doesn't suit him. So this is a natural way of, if you have any allergies or, if you struggle with um, things like hay fever, I'm, I'm sure this is going to be brilliant. And it's suitable for vegetarians. 100% um, natural ingredients. Extracts and absorbs water. Highly moisturising on the skin. Helps digest food when ingested. So can you use... Pardon? So you put this onto your mm. skin, I'm presuming. Can you remember, Elliot, because you were here. You put it on your skin... But you don't put it, you don't obviously absorb, like you don't drink it, is what I was asking you, Elliot. Oh, you can, Elliot, saying, amazing. Please, will you watch Poppy's show back? Because we wanted to put this in the gift hour, as I know it's very, very popular, but I need to, um, to find out more about this. Um, this is less than 16 pounds, and you get all three for that price as well. And it looks, again, very fancy in the bottle, doesn't it? It's worth speaking to your doctor, Elliot, saying about anything that you're thinking of um, consuming but it can be put on your skin. <laughs> 15 pounds and 98 pence for all three. I'm gonna have a chat with Poppy about this one, I think. It's the first time I've seen it. I haven't even seen it on, um, on Lifestyle, actually. So we're really lucky to have had it on the show. Okay, we are gonna to go to a break and get Delphine all set up, ready for your next mm. hour. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, ready, steady, so. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? We've got the magic carpet quilt coming up next. Full quilt kit, full tutorial, everything coming up. Do not go anywhere. Those of you that have got it on pre-order, you can relax and enjoy the rest of the show. If you haven't yet bought it, we're gonna bring the graphics live on screen in just a couple of minutes. We'll see you after this. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. 
Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Hi, I'm Lisa Lamb. I'm the quiet one from the Sewing Cropty Girls. I just wanted to wish you a safe, warm and wonderful Christmas with your loved ones. I hope Santa brings you loads and loads of crafty goodies and I look forward to being back on the show in 2022. Take care everyone. Love you loads. Bye. Mwah. Hello there, it's Mark Francis here and I've just popped up to wish a very Merry Christmas to all of you, our Sewing Street family. And uh, by the way, Happy Easter. Really long show this, really long. <laughs> My baby piece of kiss with the sewing is the same with that. Hello, I'm Janice from Birmingham. I specialise in dressmaking. I used to run a children's shop and I love making children's clothes. My mother encouraged me to sew from an early age. When we were young, we did dressmaking in school. My claim to fame was the sewing quarter, but I'm now making also jumpsuits for the ladies and men of all shapes and sizes, and it seems to be going for the festivals around the country. See you on the show! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P &P all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Right, very exciting hour. Loads of you have been asking about this quill. It is absolutely majestic, isn't it? Loads of you have already checked out on pre-order. Um, well done. If you haven't yet, go for it now. If I could give you one word of wisdom, do not wait till, till the end of the demo to get this because I think it will sell out today. It's absolutely beautiful and it is today on split pay as well two split payments of 49.99 select your split payment option oh i love it love it love it it's about pattern placement it's got really beautiful symmetry it is your magic carpet quilt um it comes it, it all packaged beautifully from free spirit i absolutely love 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 this designer it's the first time that that i've seen her work and it is stunning so hannah's saying we've had a few of her fabrics come into the company before but it's the first time that we've seen a quilt kit like this uh so she's teamed up with free spirit uh, we have got a bit of, uh, about the designer so a deal um Delphine, yep. you can tell me how I pronounce the surname, can't oh, you? Oh, well, this is how we, we think. Yeah, Adil Bayul. Bayul. Adil yeah. Bayul, who is actually part of the French Free, Free Spirit, Spirit, which is brilliant. So, uh, Adil Bayul has created designs since graduating from Art Appliques in Paris. 
she's very artistic she's got some beautiful beautiful artwork paintings um, whether it be for paper decoration for fashion or print this gourmet color loves to bring some joy into people's lives since creating her own mark in 2011 she offers fabrics and sewing kits to share her bohemian world with us her nomad style takes us traveling at the pleasure of her inspiration I really like that about it. Obviously, we can't go traveling to exotic places at the moment. So I love the fact, the idea that it brings it to you. The fabric in, in the quilt takes you on this magic carpet ride to her most amazing um, exotic places. So have a look. Here's another um, image that we want to show you. This is her painting. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? This is your cup of tea, this isn't is, it, Delphine? Yeah, this is right up my street. Absolutely stunning. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful paintings. Saw a few of her paintings earlier on. Incredible. Her nomadic style and inspirations takes us on a voyage. Popular arts, world folklore, textile know-how. This enthusiastic designer has no limits. Whether she is working with embroidery, oil paintings, fabric or decorating her gypsy caravan, she communicates it with passion to inspire us with a warm, whimsical and poetic way of life. That's exactly how I feel when I saw this. Mm. It almost told a story. It takes you on a journey with your eyes. You go and travel around the quilt, so you, don't you? There's so many different things to look at. Like you say, you, you're watching, you'd be looking at cutting up one of the fabrics, and then you see an octop uh, a jellyfish, little fairies, all the flowers, all the pearls. It's yeah, it's incredible. Really it's, interesting. If you had that hanging on your wall at home, oh. great talking point. Mm. It is such a talking yeah. point. Or on the back, I can imagine this on the back of like a, a lovely armchair or the back of a sofa. It's yeah. one of those that I'd definitely have in my living space. In terms of practicality, there are lots of skill building yes, in this. Definitely. As you say, there's piecing, there's fussy cutting, there's, there's um, applique. They have it actually said that this is suitable for an advanced beginner. Uh -huh. um, but actually, just wanted to show you inside, um, have a look at this, in the instructions, they've actually got a fabric cutting diagram. These are the sort of diagrams that you'll that you'll get um, here in your instructions. So it's brilliant. Really hold your hand talking to you about fussy cutting and how to select your designs, which you know you might not necessarily do with your first quilts. So it then opens up um, more possibilities. When you're looking at fabrics in the future, yeah. you start to look at fabric differently when you learn about fussy cutting. Definitely, yeah. If you think of like some of like the cave prints or the tulip pinks, who have got all the different images on, and and just learning how to cut them out uh, precisely, so you know that you're not going to have an even edge around the uh, around all the whole image. But I can do a demo on that as well and to talk through that. So if you're thinking, oh, I don't know how to do that, don't worry, they will talk you through and we're going to yeah. show you with Delphine. And also they t show you how to do it as um, economically as possible. So you're making the most out of your fabric as well. Yeah. When I first sort of looked at pattern fabric, you would instantly go, right, I'll just go to the middle and then I'll cut there. And you realise actually that's really wasteful. It's about trying to make the most of your fabric, but still give you that incredible pattern placement that gives you like a kaleidoscope. I love the yeah. fact that you're going to learn so many skills through this as well as an adventurous beginner. So the instructions are brilliant. You open it up, it comes with all your templates here and then also wrapped in tissue paper as a beautiful gift to yourself or for somebody else, obviously. Over half the stock has gone and we haven't even started looking at the fabrics yet. This is so exciting. If you've got it in your basket, please do check out now. It's wrapped beautifully in a bright pink ribbon. Look at that, straight away. It reminds me of the Zandra Rhodes collection, actually, that we had it in. Um, I think we had it in Yarn Lane, you know, those bright colours, mm. very designer. This, when I opened it up, it was a big wow when I opened up this box. Look at that. So it's almost like it doesn't do it justice on the TV, does it? Oh, no, uh, honestly. so rich, so beautiful. Wait till you get it home, it is beautiful. And the attention to detail throughout the whole of the collection is stunning. The different scales of print are thought about, the different colours, they're all bright colours. It's like when Cave puts colours together. Obviously, these are artists. He draws and paints similar to Odile. Yeah. And actually, 
not one colour outshines the other. No. You would think, Very how clever. on earth, if you were to get dressed in the morning and you put a bright pink um, hat on, a green blouse, blue this, yellow this, you would think, <laughs> how is that going to work? But they do, they're artists. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you'd get some funny looks on the school run, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, it's so gorgeous. So gorgeous. Every single one of these cuts, you get all of the fabric you need. Now, this one is beautiful. The details in this one, oh, I absolutely love it. Um, do they use this one as the sort of border there? It's one of the strips. Yeah, it's here. These oh, two yeah. strips here. And that's all it is actually. You get a load. You'll have a load of fabric left over as well. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you'll be able to make like, a, a different quilt, whether you do a patchwork quilt or do a bit of EPP or. I tell you what, that's really good because actually mm. maybe a paper kite. Um, I was exact. I was just about to say that. Yeah. Cushion yeah. to match. Yeah. Um, I was thinking normally when you're getting a quilt kit, they will put what you need to make the project in the kit and. That's kind of it, but as a venture as a beginner, this is really lovely that you do actually then have a bit of wiggle room. You do, because, of because it is fussy cutting, because you have got to cut out that, mm. that specific picture. Yeah. Obviously, you are going to have a whole triangle of one that you're not going to use, so you, it's almost like you could make it all again, if that makes sense, wow. but it just wouldn't be with the, the, that same yeah. image. Yeah. Uh, so that's why they're giving you extra fabric, and they've also given you more just in case you make a mistake. And we all do it, you know, it, so I think you can cut out at least another two or three of these ladies, at oh, least. Look at this, the pearls, the flowers, the beautiful fairies. I mean, that is just stunning, isn't it? Oh, wow. I was just thinking of so many different projects. I really hope we manage to get this fabric in by the half meter. I don't think we will. If you love this fabric, I would absolutely be making the most of the split pay option and, and grabbing this whilst you can. Um, Hannah's saying, I really don't, I don't think we are getting it in. The only reason I say this is because the quilt kits that we've had recently, we've been told we cannot get the fabrics. This one's beautiful as well. They're like feathers, aren't they, Delphi? Yeah, yeah, they are feathers. They are. Oh, look at this. Stunning. Um, and the, it, I love the fact that this pattern is designed with this fabric in mind. Mm -hmm. Well, it's designed for this fabric, isn't it? Yeah. it? So yeah, cause if you just had it with just plain fabrics, it would look a bit boring. But yeah. because like you say, it, it really does look like a magic carpet, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, it does. Sorry, I don't know what happened to my voice then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Hannah's wondering, she just says, this is really unrelated, but does anybody remember the story when the kids find the phoenix wrapped in an old carpet. No. Help us, because Hannah doesn't know, and we can't, we don't know, none of us know. Um, okay, she's saying this is where she finds a phoenix egg in this sort of carpet, isn't it? Yeah, if you want. <laughs> if you want, if you want, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> there's loads of that by the way um, right if everyone checks out the six left do not wait till the end of the demo this is going to be really really popular please help Hannah with the Phoenix story she needs help with uh, with the Phoenix story um, I don't remember that story at all no it was on the telly was it no oh it was a, a, a fictional show on the telly <laughs> it wasn't real life she's stating right can we um can we do some demo, please, oh. before Hannah <laughs> gets carried away? Right. So okay. we're starting with talking about cutting. Yeah. So with the so you've already brought up the the diagram, didn't you? With the um, yeah of the of way, the fussy cutting of where you actually cut out all the different fairies. So um, you'll cut out the you can just about see it on there. So where you cut the fairies out. So you want to make sure that you're leaving a seam allowance above the fairy's head. Right. So I left about an inch mm -hmm. uh, just above the fairy's head. Let me just bring it in so you can see. So I left about an inch just above it. And then that way, when you sew the um, the binding on the top, because yes, this is binding, this oh. is a clique. So it's, you'll make this center piece and then you'll uh, put Bind these bindings it. on and then you'll top stitch it down. So you, this is where if you, you want to make sure you've got some really bright threads. Okay. So if you've got a real bright thread collection, this is where it's going to come out. Perfect. Um, so yeah, so make sure you cut the ex each one the exact same way. So what I did is you get your template, uh, which is at the back of the instructions. Let me have a look. 
Oh, by the way, thank you for everybody who is now telling Hannah. It's called The Phoenix and the Carpet. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so you'll have your, uh, your templates at the back. You, you don't need to cut these out. All I did is just get two pieces of A4 plain uh, photocopy paper and I just traced over it. And you can use a light box to help you out. And then the other side as well. So it gives you the whole... Where's the other one? It's in there. Oh, there it is. There it is. So there's your template. So what I did... Are they true to size? I don't need to yes, worry about... Yes, yeah, they're true to size. Them. Yeah. So what I did... I mean, this has been in, my, in a box, so I've, turned, I've uh, got it all creased. But if you fold that in half... Oh, your nails look nice, Delphine. Oh, my spark. I need to change them. I had them done for Nick's Christmas party. I need to change them now. They're getting a bit long. So when you place it onto your fabric, so you cut out one. So I would mark about an inch above the fairy's head. I put it on the top, and then with a friction pen, I literally just drew around, around mm -hmm. it first, and then I cut it out. And then I used the, the same one, the, the one that I cut out, to then cut out the others right. because the reason why I do that is because you can see where all the pattern ma where all the pattern will match yeah and that way you know you, you all the uh, triangles will all cut out the exact same right okay so use your template your fabric template once and then use your triangle template that's the way I did it because that's where I know it would all come out perfectly yeah and so each one was the exact same nice so to start with to make this kaleidoscope in the center you'll need to cut out three triangles so like this, sorry, six triangles, which are here. And then let me just move that out of the way. So I've got a lot going on here. And then you'll cut out your strips. So I think these are about one inch long. They are all going to be cut a little bit longer than what you need, but that's fine. It's only an extra inch you're going to lose either side. And that's so uh, we're going to attach this to the top of each triangle right. before we sew them together. Oh, OK. So. All you do... Is that a bit fiddly? No, 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 easy, easy, easy. OK, so it tells you what size strips to cut. Yeah. So then you're just going to fold them in half and press them. That's a nice bright fabric as well to have as a binding, isn't it? It is, really pretty. They're like little flowers. So just like you would making a bit of binding. Give that a press. If you've got any uh, best press or starch, you have got a few bias edges, not many, but it just helps you out a little bit. I'm not sure if it's in stock at the moment. Is the iron in stock as well, Hannah? I'm just thinking with gift, with, with gift ideas for Christmas, I can't recommend that iron enough for a gift for Christmas. So then what we're going to do now, I'm going to take one of your triangles. You know when Steph says he's gone rogue for your Christmas gift, maybe he's getting you an iron. <laughs> Nick bought me an ironing ball cover in a blender once for Christmas. But I bet you used it a lot. I did, but you want to see my face when I used it. <laughs> <laughs> so then you will, so you, I folded those wrong sides together. Okay. And then you're going to lay and pin if you like. So it lines up with that top edge of your triangle. Mm -hmm. Make sure you've got excess, excess either side. And what you want to do is trim, uh, so quite close to the edge. I went about an eighth. You can go a bit of a quarter of an inch, but do you know what? It doesn't matter because you're going to applique that on. So right. even if you're out a little bit, it doesn't really make an awful lot of difference. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Oh, are in you plugged in? I am. Hold on, I just need a foot. Oh, sorry, that was my fault <laughs> because I didn't um, bring it over from my sew along. There we go. Do you use a foot pedal as opposed to the start stop then? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I like a pedal. Yeah. Although I've got a new machine now that's got one that it's got the knee lift on it. Which machine are you? The oh. 780? No, which one are you now? Which one is it? 720. 720. Oh. Do you love it? Oh, oh yeah. It is. It's, it is a game changer for my sewing. It's, nice. It's like the Lamborghini of sewing machines. Oh, <laughs> yeah. fab. Oh, I can't wait to. You need to come on and, and show us all of the, your tricks and we're, tips you've learned. Yeah, we're still making friends at the moment. Okay. But we're, uh, we've got a very beautiful friendship. Blossoming. <laughs> Definitely. But yeah, so I've been making the most of the knee lift, especially with the amount of plique that I do. Sorry, I've just moved the machine, sorry. What's, uh, what have we done to your machine? Uh, 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 I, know, I should have had a good look at it, shouldn't I? Sorry. Just so you know, the single figures, and there's loads more of you who've got it in your basket than we have availability. Oh, it's on the turtle mode. 
Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's also <laughs> me. No, that's Neil, in fact, actually. That wasn't me. I was speedy. <laughs> So just keep it lined up as you go. Like I said, if you're fairly new, just give it a pop a few pins in there. Have you been doing any workshops at all, Delphine? Uh, what no, have you been up to? I feel like I've not seen you for so long. I've, I've been just so busy. Yeah? Yeah, I'm just really busy and, you know, with the boys and with the schools and everything. There's something on every single week at really? the moment, isn't there? So they break up today. Do they still do a school nativity play or some it sort was, of... Yeah, they did, but they, they stopped us going to it. Oh. Yeah, which was sad. They videoed it. I was going to say, hopefully you'll get to see... Yeah, because Louis was a shepherd. Oh, cute. Yeah. Did you have to make the outfit? No, again, they, you're not making them anymore. I used to love making all of those. I've made uh, all sorts of um, outfits for them in the past, but mainly for Charlie, yeah. but not for Lou. But no, I've missed doing a bit of sewing for the school. Although I used to be really good and make all sorts of things for them, but I'm not. I need to. I need yeah. to start getting back into. I've made the mascots and things. I've made them like a big owl and. Oh, brilliant! So just so the easy one. And I saw that you made the elf for um, our cat's mom. For her, she's been doing the. Uh, she's had naughty, naughty elf at work. Oh, as well, I know. She? Bless her. <laughs> <laughs> she sent me a picture of that. Did she? Just thought I've got my oh missed one. There we are. So you're just chain piecing these together. Yeah, I'm just uh, yeah. I thought I did three then, but no. So yeah, just chain piecing these together. That said, it comes together so fast, ever so quick. So you could easily make this in a day, the whole quilt. So you get it before Christmas, you could have it there for when everyone comes round for Christmas drinks for you. Oh, absolutely. There's only six left though. There's only six left. Okay, and then once you've done that, you get your, uh, you're going to press it, but you want to make sure that the when you press it down, it, this bit's not sticking up. You okay. want to make sure it's flat against the triangle. So try not to move the triangle around too much because you don't want to stretch it. Although it's really good quality fabric to be fair. So, so I always do the back bit first and then flip it over to the other side. Oh, it looks lovely. Looks like big fancy bunting, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. We need to sort out our, I know, our Christmas curry, which is probably going to be in January now, isn't it? Yeah, it will. Although, I was, I was thinking been that, so actually. It's busy, hasn't it? We've just been, yeah, it's been great. I don't know why everything's been so busy lately. All of a sudden, I think it's just crept upon us. Yeah. And, um, yeah, my my friend, she's due twins next oh, week. Oh, really? And I've been saying for so long, oh, well, she's got two boys already, both under five. Aww. And she's due twins. I am terrified for her. <laughs> how are you going to have children are you under five you're secretly giggling <laughs> i'm it's secretly like, oh, terrified oh. i don't say to her how on earth are you going to do it but every time i have a little meltdown about Maisie and struggling i think how are you ha having four children to oh, look after but um yeah. she'll be amazing if anybody can do it she can but i was going to say i keep th meaning i'm trying to get over to see her before she has babies and i, I don't know how it's already oh. come around that it's, yeah it's, it's just like you say gone. life's just been really crazily busy at the moment isn't it there we are. all I'm doing there is when you cut these mm -hmm. when you cut the corners oh yeah I'd love one thank you very much coffee black one sticker please <laughs> it's great isn't it <laughs> just like being in your so home isn't it yeah no. it's like no one Not makes better. me a coffee at home yeah when you cut them off make sure you cut them let me show you again so I'm not cutting them straight up like that you want yeah. to make sure that you cut them in line with the triangle. Right, so right to the edge, but keeping that so it, it becomes an extension of the yeah. triangle. Sue so says, I'm getting a puppy tomorrow. Oh my word, Christmas oh. sewing slash me time will be making quilts for her beds. Oh, oh. Sue, send us pictures. We want to see over Christmas. What puppy are you getting? Elliot wants to know, breed, everything. <laughs> How exciting. So now we're going to sew these together. 
Now, there's nothing fancy. You haven't got offset um, by a quarter of an inch or anything like that. Do we need to match anything up? Is the only thing you're going to match up is these the seam okay. where the binding is to the triangle. So would you start sewing that end? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because you, this, the, these end bits, the corners, are going to be covered up with that little square patch. At the right. So even if you mess that up, you won't notice. Okay. So you can make sure you've got your accuracy at the start. So I would backstitch at that point as well. You will have a little dog ear that you need to clip off at the end. You're not pinning along this. No, I mean, at home, if you were doing it for your own project, I would recommend pinning it. But um, I want to try and get as much through as possible to, to yeah. show you the whole thing. Because like I said, it's the whole quilt. It's not like it's a block. So I'll just put that one on. And look at that, you see how... Oh, already, that's yeah. so cool. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Look at those blues. It is amazing how pattern placement, like you said, it's, it's nothing actually too difficult about the, the block. There's no blocks and stuff. It is no. just placement and, and colour. It's amazing. There's four, four left, four not checked out. There is so many more than you, more than 20 of you have got it in your basket. So it's not yours until you check out. Yeah, this is right up my street. My type, my idea of a quilt design, definitely. I knew this would be your cup of tea. Oh, as soon yeah. as I heard that you were in and we were talking about you doing a quilt design, I said, oh, we're not doing one of Delphine's designs today. And um, Hannah said, no, but wait till you see the quilt. And I said, oh, it's that stunning. is Delphine all over. It's, it's everything that I want to aspire to be this oh wow well, you're like, incredible because i'd love to design my own fabrics that's one thing that i've always wanted wow. to do and you know because as you know i paint i draw and um but it's just about time isn't it but i'd love to design my own fabrics and these are the type of colors that i would use yeah in your face you know that really, really packs bold. a punch really bold um but yeah so my dream is to eventually design fabrics like this and make my own quilts and designs but there's not enough time in the day, though. That's the trouble. So I'm open out the seams. As you see, I did clip off that little dog ear there. OK. Why are you pressing them open, Delphi? Uh, so it lies nice and flat. OK. So um, that's why I'm, I'm pressing them open, because this is actually, when I've sewn the, the two halves of the hexagon, is it a hexagon? Is it a hexagon? One, two, three, six. four, five. Six. Is it a pentagon? What's six oh, sided know. shape? Octagon's four. eight, isn't it? Is a hexy six sides? This yeah. isn't a hexagon, is it? Is yeah, it, it will be. Two, four, six. <laughs> it will be. It will be when you put the two sides together. I don't think that's a hex. Oh, hex. Um, octagon's eight, hexagon is six. <laughs> Sorry, I keep repeating. An octagon is eight. I know that. This is a hex again. I don't think I should go to Joint Maker this afternoon. I think they really should try and find somebody else. I'm obviously not really with it today. So there we are. So then you'll create two halves like that. I'll just give that a bit of a press. There we go. And then you'll sew for the one I made earlier. So you'll then sew the two together. Ah, so this bit we do need to match up. Yeah. yeah. So what I what I would do, um, if it, it says to just go from one side right all the way down to the other, but you really want to make sure that these line up correctly. Right. Whereas that is going to be covered up with a patch. So you go from the centre down, turn it around. So I would go from one end Sorry, yeah, to the centre the and the other, other way around, because even if you're out here, it doesn't matter because you're going to cover that up with a square. Yeah. Yeah. So these are the With bits you. that matter, not that bit. Good idea, good tip. So I'll do that now. So you're going to look like a real pro doing this, even if you are a beginner and you make this up. I'm definitely going to finish the whole thing of this. Maybe not today, but it's... <laughs> oh, you've got to. It would look absolutely beautiful. It is like a piece of artwork, really. It isn't is, it? it is. That's why I love it. 
And it's a manageable size to quilt as well, isn't it? Yeah. As an adventurous beginner, if you're trying to do something that is huge, it can be one quite a task to baste it mm. and then also to to, um, to quilt it. Whereas this, yeah. Yeah, it's um, it's a showstopper, isn't it? But the quilting itself is actually really done really simple. Well, they've done sort of straight lines in the corners, yeah. and then is it free motion? Just through a the free motion round round the edges with a purple thread, pink thread, purple thread. Brilliant. But if you had a really bright variegated, that would look really nice. Out of curiosity, what have they backed it with? I wonder what colour you would choose to back it with. I'd probably go with a. Oh, lovely. Like oh, turquoise. like a tealy turquoise. turquoise yeah. yeah. But you won't be looking at the back of that quilt, will you? No, no. Well, there's so many colours you could pick out. It has gone. It's sold out. Right, so the Machina Delphine's using is the 570A. That will be your main graphic. It's back in stock in time for Christmas. Um, well done if you managed to get the quilt kit. We can't wait to see them all as well. It's beautiful. So there's your hexagon. There's the hexagon. So I six just need sides. to give that a press down the sides and open out the um, what's it. I need to press that open, but I'll do that in a sec. So there you go. That's that bit done. Now we need to make the square to go in the centre. Yeah. So here we are. So you're going to fussy cut out the feathered flower. Mm -hmm. There we are. Oh, so that's the same fabric that goes down the stripes, is it? And that's, that's got yep. binding around the edge as well. Yep, so we're going to, first of all, sew all these little pieces on. Let me just give them a quick press because they've been folded up for the last couple of days. Okay, so first of all, you're going to sew the two ends either side on top with a quarter inch seam. I press it open and then we'll do the two tops. So I'll go and do that now. Let's quickly switch it around and do the other one. This is where I'm like, I'm really hoping I've cut everything correctly. <laughs> Because obviously I'm the, you get one shot at this because there's only one of them. So we believe in you, Delphi. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, the machine also is on four split pays today. 159 pounds, 75 pence of split pay. So you only need to pay the one payment to get this home, which is so good. It makes it manageable, doesn't it? Especially this time of year. Yeah, it's a that's, it's a little whiz that machine, isn't it? Oh, well, it's, I think it's a really good machine for somebody who doesn't necessarily sew every single day and wants something that, that if they don't have a designated sewing space, that's easy to put, put away. Yeah. But also, it kind of does everything. It's got a memory, it's got an alphabet, it's got the thread cutters, it's got an extension table. So it is one of those machines that actually, for those features, you'd normally be paying Pays for a, a higher more. spec machine. Yeah. yeah? So it's brilliant. We love the 570A. Every time it comes back in stock, it's the one that you'll always see on air because we all love it. So luckily, yeah. that's all matched up quite well. <laughs> Perfectly, in fact. I'm quite pleased with that. And then, you know, again, I'm just going to sew the other two on to make a... It's just framing that little feathered um, flower. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. So now I'll just press these open. So there's no, there is a plique, but there's no raw edge of plique because you're actually going to be folding over the edges by, I think it's a quarter inch. Seam. So this is where you do need quite a hot iron, but keep your fingers out of the way. Maybe the little mini iron would be good for this, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, the little mini iron would be The mini iron, iron would be good. Okay, Hannah. Hannah just said, I'm not giving Delphina coffee until she's off there, and I don't know why. Why? 
because you can't spill it. Oh. We know what happened to you last year when we gave you a glass of fizz and you dropped it and broke the glass. Oh, dear. So we don't want you spilling it on I this did. lovely fabric. Oh, yeah, I did, didn't I? <laughs> oh, okay. We can't, we can't give it to a wall because then we'll have to give it to all guests, is what Hannah's saying. Oh. Oh, so it was what I said. Hannah did mean it in a really authoritative, nasty way. <laughs> I'm not giving it to Delphi until after the show, and I thought there was a reason. <laughs> you will get your coffee. If you spill it, there's no more demo. You've just got to stop. <laughs> <laughs> She's cruel, isn't she? Oh, oh never mind. <laughs> it's waiting. It's waiting. waiting. I'll look forward to that when I come off. So when you fold in your quarter inch, that's why it's really important if you open out those seams, mm -hmm. because when you fold over that quarter inch, you will line up with that other one perfectly. So okay. you haven't really got to guess it. Oh, yeah, I see. So you don't want to, fit, you don't want to go over, okay. just, just in line right. with that one there. And then that way it just takes out all the faff and worry. So really important to... It's almost like you need an iron as much, more that it, as much as a sewing machine in this project, really. So yeah, to be honest, I've heard a lot of people say this, but sewing your iron is are you pressing it's the is the as important, important as your sewing yeah. machine, isn't it? So this is where I would put a bit of uh, best press or starch on it, only because it will keep these folded down mm -hmm. um, bef in long enough for you to top stitch it into place onto your. There we go. Is this your last show before Christmas, Delphine? No, I'm back on next Thursday, 23rd. Right. Oh, nice. Yeah. Christmas Eve Eve. It is, yeah. I was on Christmas Eve last year. I've actually got Christmas Eve off this year. First I time think I've we been did on. Christmas Eve. We did. We did. Yeah, we, we did. Do you have any little traditions with your family? Uh, we like to spend it well. We tend to go for a walk yeah. on Christmas Eve with the boys because it's just to try and tire them out a little bit. And we always go, <laughs> we always <laughs> go and find a pub somewhere with it's got a fire. Oh yeah. Um, we usually go to the one in the village, but that recently burnt down. So, oh dear. So we, let me that one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, 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 no. no. It's just like you said, we normally find a pub with a fire. So, but no, there's a, we found a really Everyone nice was fine in that pub, by the way, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, they were fine. Everyone's it, fine. It was, it, it's been there rebuilt. No, there's it's, nobody in there. It's all good. And um, yeah, so we tend to, yeah, we tend to go for a pub and then I'll go home and do the prep. Yeah, you you'll know. do all your cooking. I like doing the prep. I, I, you know, I'll put some Christmas music on and... Have a glass of Bucks Fizz. Yeah. Oh, oh no. well, I'm in charge of doing the Christmas table this year. Oh, you oh, you having it at yours? Yeah, we're doing it at our, we're doing oh, Christmas lovely. day at ours. We've got a new big dining table. So I've got a really nice white tablecloth and I went foraging. Hence why I've got this big cut on my um, my finger here. Did you wonder? You oh, did you ask about it? I went foraging. They've got a beautiful big eucalyptus tree in the garden next door. So I went over the fence. <laughs> Don't tell them. Um, but I went, uh, so I got uh, some eucalyptus, I've got some holly, I've got some, um, what else did I find? Like spruce, and I'm going to do a lovely Ooh, big lovely. sort of trail along the centre. Oh, sounds It sounds strange, doesn't it? But it will look nice. I'll put a post a picture say, on the same put some on, put on some I'm going to make my own fabric crackers. Oh, check you out. I'm going no, all out because I've been banished from the kitchen. I'm always, I Are always you're not feel the cook? that. No. No. Oh, well, yeah, I like to be the cook. There you go, I'm allowed to decorate the table at Christmas. On my wedding day, I was allowed to um, be on toilet roll duty. Yeah, <laughs> sounds as weird as it is. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, there were amazing dear. toilets at the wedding, said Hannah. <laughs> Thank there you. we go. So I'm not going to actually do that. What you'll do then is you'll top stitch it in the, in the centre. Uh, you, it does say in the instructions to top stitch it at a later day, a later in, in the pattern but me right. personally I'll do it now okay uh, the only reason I'm not going to do it now is because uh, I don't want to ruin it with a bright green with, a, with the thread that I've got in there I'd want to do it at home with bright I'd green. want a bright green just thread. a normal stitch I would actually lengthen the stitch length okay because it gives it that uh, more of a handmade quilt look but still a, a straight still stitch. a straight stitch but uh, I think you, you could put a little decorative stitch on there blanket stitch do. or something but uh, a straight stitch quite close to the edge okay so uh, 
yeah, so it, it, you just take it a bit slow if you're new and you're worried about not uh, get back going a bit wonky, but try and stay as close to the edge as possible. And I don't think they've stitched in the ditch. I can't no, even see the stitching on that one. No, they, I think they've matched the thread in, haven't they? Yeah, they've matched it with a bright green thread, which Lovely. is what I'd like to do. So yeah, I'm, yeah, you do that. So, at home I, then. so I'm, I'm not. I remember, we've it. done it. So that's that bit done. Yep. Brilliant. So we're on to the next outer board, which is the stripes. Yeah, which is the main body of the quilt. Diane's just said, have you, Delphine, finally done the fairy dust quilt using the glow-in-the-dark fabric? Good idea. Oh, wow, yeah. I bet that looks amazing. It feels like ages ago when I did that fairy dust one. Ah, oh, I want to see pictures. Yeah, send in your pictures. So I've already done one already. because so you just make it a strip hard. set. Yeah. yeah literally that so i just need to make another one of those and what this is is the two halves of the main body of the quilt fab so i'll go on and show you how to do this because all, all of your cutting instructions of how to place yeah it's all in there the ruler is in yeah there. so what you'll do is the two wider piece let me just check which one that one is that's the left side so i'm going to do I'm just going to put that there just so I know which way I'm putting them together. And then that one, yeah, okay. So what you want to do is that on these two pieces, don't worry about pattern matching here because that's going to be covered up with your hexi. Okay. So don't worry about that. So you're just going to sew those two right sides together. Just so you know, the Quilt Cat has completely sold out. Uh, main graphic is for the machine that Delphine is using. And Diane, I've just replied to you on Facebook with the email address. So you've sent in your picture. Oh, lovely. So that's that strip all done. And that's with the feathers close together. Oh, nice. So I'll give that a press, but I'll do that in a sec. So when you come to press those two together they've pattern matched they have they've pattern matched just slightly oh yeah so it creates another shape doesn't yeah. it yeah so but when you do uh do that don't worry about being it, it's slightly shorter because oh. it has given you a little bit extra as well so now oh, the next so cool. piece is the two jellyfish again two pieces and you sew those right sides together it does so just take you to this magical world with the jellyfish, yeah. doesn't it, as well? It's so cool. There we go. So, yeah, I mean, what's better? Jellyfish, fairies, feathered flowers, what more do you want? It's crazy, <laughs> yeah, it's isn't it? Great. Because if you would say to me, Vic, I'm designing this fabric, it's got this, 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 X, Y, Z, I'd think... You're bonkers. Delphine, yeah, <laughs> we need to have a sit down. <laughs> but actually, it's, it works, doesn't it? It really, really works. And it takes your eye on this amazing story and this really Stunning. fab journey. I love it. And then, where's my other little pieces? Ah, so these are, those are just cut, the, there's no fussy cutting with the pink jellyfish. And there's no fussy cutting with, oh, these are fussy cut as well, these strips here. Oh, nice. So it will ask you to cut for these uh, uh, strips. It tells you the exact placement of where it wants them. And it will also ask you to cut out two slightly smaller ones. I can't remember the exact size. Uh, but all of these are for now are to go on the ends. Mm -hmm. Now, again, they don't have to be pattern matched because those are going to be hidden underneath this right. triangle. Okay. So don't, don't worry. worry. I mean, if you, nobody's going to see it, so don't, don't worry. So and it, it even says that in the pattern, but I just want you to think when I sew this together, you'll be like, well, that doesn't even match. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to sew that to either end and you can chain stitch those as well because the fabric's long enough so I just line them up I think we've got loads of messages coming in for you which we'll pass on at the end of the show because we are um, oh, time, but you've got messages to read at the end with your coffee oh yeah with my coffee <laughs> not, not allowed to have there we are. So that's, again, I'll press all these seams open. And then the same with the last strip. Look, I've got, look at that. That's stunning without even all the oh, other triangles does. on, isn't it? Do you know, it is, isn't it? And the, the, like I said, there'll be enough for you to make a little quilt like that. Fab. So, and again, these, 
you don't have to pattern match these either you won't see them so don't worry I wonder whether then you'd have enough then if you wanted to, if you, you might need a bit more but you could piece the back could do you might need like you say just add a solid in or another yeah. pattern like you yeah. say that turquoise tealy yeah. turquoise yeah. is quite nice isn't it there we go are you going to any carol singing events, Delphine? No, I'm oh. really. Uh, they, used to, they usually do one on the green, at yeah. that, but because of. Yeah, everything's going on, of course. Yeah. yeah. What about light trails? No, we take all the boys on our little one of our own. We're going to do it tomorrow afternoon, actually. We, um, oh, of all the houses? Well, of oh, your oh, own no, light trail? No, me and Bex do that. We call it a nosy walk. Well, if you want to do a nosy walk, you've <laughs> got to come to where walk. I live. They did a yeah. light, official light switch I know, I in saw my neighbours. I was like, oh, we've let the side down. We look like the right Scrooge is in the centre of all these houses that have got the most amazing lights. Have you seen John Scott's lights, by the way, that he's got on his I front lawn? I haven't seen his, yeah. I googled it because I thought that'd be perfect. I don't need to bother Kieran to go up and put them up. I can just put them on my lawn on the front. But they were really expensive. So really? I was like, oh, I'll wait till the January sales and I'll copy John Scott next year. Oh, bless him. He, he always does, does like, a great display out, on his lawn. He? Yeah. <laughs> he hasn't done the nativity this year, though. But no, I've um, I like to go. We go on a nosy walk every Christmas, and we're looking in, in people's houses to see their Christmas tree. Oh yeah, <laughs> so okay. you, you careful if you see Delphine peering through your window. We take Louis with us as well. Charlie oh. was just wanting to stay and play on his Xbox, but take Louis. But no, tomorrow afternoon we're going to go into Stratford. We're yeah. going to park at the Greenway, and we walk in along the river. Yeah, love that. Yeah. Um, and because it starts to get dark, and they get really excited, especially if it's nice and cold, and all the lights across the bridge. So we're going to do that, and then go for something to eat. Lovely. So we're doing that tomorrow. So then you just sew all of those together. Yeah. Have I got time? I don't know if I... And then what you'll do then... You have. I have. Whatever you want. Oh, well, well I might as well then. Might as well finish it. So I'm going to... a few minutes. So I'm going to... There's nothing to round up, you see. Oh, no, there isn't. Is there? We've just got menu. So when you're doing a long sewing line, I will... Okay probably tell then. everybody what's going on tomorrow. So I'm going to pattern match these up. Now, a good thing to do if you've got the time at home, because we're pattern matching these little red, reddish. So would you pin at each of those yes. points? Yes, yeah. Oh, she's good, isn't she? I've hey. worked with you a lot now, Delphine. I know that. <laughs> she knows me well now. So, I know what you're thinking. So, yeah, I would pin along each one, but I'm okay. going to just... Go for it. I can always unpick it if it doesn't work. Right, I'm going in. Don't forget, by the way, um, we are tuning over to Yarn Lane at 12 o'clock today with Cara Ackerman. And actually, even if you're not an knitter or crochet, I think you'll like today's show. A lot going on. We've got some beautiful Brie Merring cross stitch kits. So if you're still shopping for Christmas, remember it's 1 p.m.p. across both channels, both websites. So you will um, be able to still shop and get them for Christmas, in time for Christmas. And they're so lovely for gifts. Really lovely. Have you seen these Brie Merring cross stitch kits before? Oh, Duffy? beautiful. Aren't they stunning? Yeah, yeah. She's a great art another great artist, Brie. Yeah, there's some stunning pictures. I saw the giraffe one. Oh yeah, we all saw the draft one, didn't we? Yeah, we all thought, what's going on? There's a draft on the screen. Are, are my eyes deceiving me? <laughs> but no, Elliot did randomly put the giraffe on the screen as we were talking about something completely different. He said, I'll press the wrong button. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. He pressed the wrong one. There are a lot of buttons in your defence in there, aren't they? <laughs> he uses two of them. <laughs> Nearly there. What I'm doing is just because I can see the pattern, I'm just lining it up as I go along just to make sure that it all matches so there'll be no one picking involved. What's on the menu um, in your house Christmas Day then? Are you doing turkey? Oh, yeah, I've got the biggest one I could get my hands on. Yeah, we. I'm going to do nibbles and like sausages and stuff and box fears for when everyone arrives. And then I'm going to do, I cook my gammon on Christmas Eve. I do oh, a we jerk. have a gammon as well as oh, a turkey. I, I, oh, yeah, I, I like a jerk gammon. So I'll marinate it on the 23rd and I'll cook it on Christmas Eve. And uh, 
obviously all the usual. I'm going to get, I've got those colourful carrots, you know, the ones that are all different colours. Oh, yeah. So turkey <laughs> stuffing, extra pigs in blankets for Charlie and Nick. Um, all the veg, parsnips, roasties. So you don't do a starter, just go straight in with the sausages, the nibbles. Straight in, then, yeah. straight in. But so that's why I do nibbles and stuff yeah. when we're opening presents and things. And then, yeah, I'm gonna, and then the pudding. We've got a Christmas pudding. I've got a raspberry and chocolate tart thing. Oh. And then it's all the sandwiches in the evening. Something like 4,000 calories you eat on Christmas Day, don't they? I'm not surprised. You, we do manage to consume a lot on Christmas Day. Oh, well, that's what it's for, isn't it? So there you go. So you see, that's what you want to get those little red, reddish things there. Oh, so yes. now it's created. Oh, you just done that without pinning as well. That's oh. brilliant. It's perfect. Perfect, perfect. It is worth spending that time. So then I'll just do the next row and the next row. Just tell me when to stop and I'll show you the other bits. Um, yeah, I was going to say, we've literally probably show the other bits now. Okay. So <laughs> all I'll do then is so, let me just, I don't need this mat anymore. Let me just move this out of the way. So, I mean, it's so easy, so simple. All you'll do then is sew all these together. I'll make it look like I have sewn it together. There we are. That's why you're placing them down. Uh -huh. Tomorrow's show is with John Scott. He's got Liberty at eight o'clock. He's got Janice Hobbs at nine. Oh, it's going to be a great show tomorrow. You've got a messenger tote bag, kits showcase, and then another beautiful floral aprons and cushions for Janice. Yarn Lane back at 12 o'clock with Christmas kits. Still in time for Christmas um, tomorrow on Sewing Street. We are still staying with you till one o'clock. Don't forget with Yarn Lane as well. Right, Dolphins laid out all of these strips. So you'll cut two Lee's large rectangles yeah. and you just cut them in half. Make sure you pay attention to the cutting direction on because they are different on each one. Oh, so okay. you just go from corner to corner on one and then corner to corner on the other to create the two halves. Mm -hmm. And then the binding bit, exactly the same as what you did on the other triangles. Uh, it's a different fabric, but it, yeah. the, the, the techniques, techniques the exactly the same. And then all you do then is that you'll lie them all into each corners and then your centre, let me just, yeah, that's pointing towards the top. And then... Do you bond a web that down? Uh, you can do. I'd, I would. I'd yeah. bond a web it down. It doesn't say to bond a web it down. And then you put your, your star on the end. Obviously, that's looking a bit yeah. wonky because I've not straightened it out. But, and then you'll also have your cornerstones. Uh, you fussy cut them and you just fold those under and you top stitch those down. So you then just top stitch it all down. A little tip to find the centre, fold them this main piece that without, with the, you know, with yeah, all yeah. out the... Fold it in half, half again, that will be your centre. And then that, and also do the exact same with your hexi, so it all lines up. That's where you know you're going to get the exact centre yeah. of, um, of the quilt. And then binding as you normally do. Brilliant. But there you um, go, that's it, that's the whole thing. I was going to say, actually, it looks very complex. To say adventurous beginners, I think this is brilliant adventurous beginner. If you're comfortable yeah. with your machines, so many skills go into um, this quilt. And it looks spectacular, doesn't it? The end result, you would never believe that you're, you know, a beginner quilt. And you can make this, literally, I mean, you know, apart from the quilting. You'd, you'd be able to do it in yeah. a couple of days. Yeah, that's a weekend. Oh, easily. Easily yeah. a weekend. Yeah. Thank you so, so much. We'll oh, see you on the 23rd. You. Merry yeah. Christmas, because I always see you. But you. we'll sort out oh, a Christmas walk. Yeah, that would be lovely. Um, right, do not go anywhere. Tune over on Facebook, on YouTube, on um, online, and we are going to stay with you with Cara Ackerman for Yarn Lane. Don't go anywhere. We've got Brie Merrin, gorgeous cross-stitch kits coming up for you after this.